Hello everyone, Space and welcome to, you can't tell what this is, but we're going to be playing some Newfound Courage. It's a game that was gifted, uh, won it in a giveaway from Jeff uh, Brutlag, I believe I saved the last name uh, correctly. Let's give him a quick shout out real quick, real quick. I can't speak. Uh, I was just laying down and the kidney stones are killing me, man. And I'm uh, very tired and that's how I was kind of resting. So that's what's going on there. There's a shout out for him. He's an awesome person. Go give him a follow. Very lovely, lovely person, and uh, we got this game, and it's uh, going to be the final game that we play for the charity stream for the Trevor Project, and uh, it's kind of fitting because it's uh, queer inclusive, so heck yeah, let's do this. New game. Okay. Let's do this thing. A new name. Oh, I thought that was going to keep going. I was about ready to bop out. Oop. Switch. So I think this might have been made in RPG Maker. You were seven, 189 years after the time that was not counted when your mother gave birth to the most beautiful boy and you became a sister. You were seven, 189 years after the time that was not counted when your mother gave birth to the most beautiful boy and you became a sister. Uh, 189 years. You knew instantly, even though you were young, that you loved this boy. Your instinct was to care for him. You knew this before you realized his mother wouldn't. Oh no. Your young your young years were spent making sure he could have his. Oh god, it's already starting out with the feels? Dang. Under your watch, a perfectly healthy, strong, smart, but most importantly, happy young boy was raised. All chaos broke out around you, dragging you in. The boy stayed safe in the home you built for him. One day, when the boy was 14 years old, you saw a look he gave another boy. It was the first time you'd ever seen it, and you knew that this look was not the look he gave his friends. Turn up the volume a little bit. There's nothing this boy could ever do that would make you love him any less. However, this revelation had the power to drag the boy from the protections you so carefully built around him. You've heard hateful stories about those who romance others of their own gender here. Tell him to suppress his feelings. Tell him to embrace his feelings. You tell the boy he should embrace his feelings for the other boy. But you remind him to be careful. This type of love was dangerous in these types of places. The boy doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. Oh god, it's already with the feels! After this conversation, you notice the boy has become more reserved. He doesn't laugh as easily, or as honestly. You see him lose his confidence and second guess his every action as he tries to manage the way others see him. Oh shit. Eventually, because of your care, the boy heals, but you don't. You struggle every day with the knowledge that, despite your best intentions, you hurt the boy. I hurt him! You decide it was worse even because it came from you. Oh! You resolve to not approach the topic anymore, but vow not to let anyone hurt him in this way again. Yes! You fasten the walls of the home, and inside you grow a garden, wild and beautiful. But years passed, and the boys, magnetically attracted, magnetically attracted to one another, are not able to keep from being together for long. The friendship rekindles stronger than it ever was. Cookie time. Cookie time. What's up, Gups? Oh, we're playing a field trip already, my dude. Buckle Hello, up. Hello, How you doing, my dude? Thank you so much for the treaties. A doggy. It was a Sunday morning when you noticed him acting strangely. It was the last. It was the day after the two boys had spent a night together. The boy was sadder, sadder than you had seen him in a very long time. He was wrong. Talking quietly and occasionally stammering, the boy describes the night before. The boy and his friend had been accompanied by some girls. Something happened between the boy's friend and one of the girls. Nothing more needed to be said. 
He leans his head on your shoulder as tears gently form from his tightly shut eyes. No, God. It's only been text, my dude, and it's wrecking my soul. Is this the whole game? Just this little trees and text? Where? Where? Oh yeah, where there was once a glowing warmth beneath the boys. Now there was nothing but the forest fires. Ah, oh, fuck. They fought angrily with words before. Eventually they fought with their bare fists. Through this conflict, their relationship was revealed to an all revealed to all in an indifferent light of the moon. And you weren't there. Oh no. But you found out. Your deepest held fear stinging with the cold that only uncovered secrets left too long to concentrate to. From his confinement, he saw you. A red blur of strength and anger. A deep flood ready to destroy any who flowed to harm that boy. Your boy. No, stop making me feel things. Josh, what's going on, my dude? Lob them fireballs. We're on a fields trip. You found him broken, not from the physical pain, but from the deep hurt on a heart that loved another who loved them back in a different way. A love that could only stretch so far because of something as trivial as bio biology. Unrequited, but still love. You knew he could not heal here. Not where there were people who knew what he was. Not where he was in such danger. Uh, I hate. I'm gonna go with him. You packed the home you and the boy shared and you left, but for forces followed. Jealous forces that were incapable of love. You knew they would never stop, that the boy would never heal. So, while the boy was sleeping, you left to face them, but you didn't come back. The boy searched and waited for a long time. Eventually, the boy became disoriented. He had long since depleted his food and water supplies and no kick or hunger kick of hunger or dry scraping of thirst would bring him to touch the half, half he saved for you. <laughs> oh, hey. It, this might be an RPG Maker game. It was just a moment before the end. The last time he would have opened his eyes. That's when he saw it. A home. Knock, knock. Okay, is that me? No, it can't be. It was like the one you made. Not exactly the same. It was older, more worn, but just as nice. He was just like... He was just like the one she lost. Not exactly the same. He was younger than he would be now. And more broken, but just as nice. Alright, we might do something here. Hold on. The boy's name was Alexander. That's a little too intense. Too intense. Turn it off. Never mind. Not a good idea. Alexander. Ooh, bird. There's a studio Studio Ghibli statues. Oh, we're in the game already. He's sleeping.
Oh, we got a voice here. My name is Nora. Okay, hold on a minute. Alexander. Wake up. Nope. Nope, don't like that. Alexander, wake up. Jake's here. Wait a minute. I bet that room is still gross. Don't come down until it's clean, please, young man. Okay, am I small again? It'll just get messy again. Okay. I thought I was like a boy. Wow, look at me. Ooh. Hey. Uh, I'm picking things up. What the? I'm literally picking everything up. All this is mine. Um. Is there an inventory? Clean your gross room. Oh, I'm cleaning my room. That's funny. Yes. All clean. I'd better head downstairs. Task complete. Clean your gross room. Did it. Okay. Hey! Hello. Come here, please, Alexander. Did you clean your room? Yes, but only because I fear you. Oh, please. You love me. Here, eat this. I got a croissant! So, Jake, is your mom still mad at me? Uh... Jake. Fine. Yes, she still thinks you drank all the wine. I didn't. This time, at least, uh, I... Leave me out of this. <laughs> Fine. Alexander, are you... Oh! He's just crunching him. Hungry boy. Are you ready to go to the vault? Uh... Sure, I guess. That's the spirit. Great! Then let's get the flip out of here. Language. Thank you, Jake. Flip. You'd better hurry after him. Is that my nickname? Flip? Please be safe. The vault is so dangerous. You know what? You'll have a wonderful time. I won't spoil it for you. Have a great day. You too, Nora. Thanks for breakfast. It was super yum. The manners of that on that kid are too good for someone in his age. Poor thing. Oh, solve. Solve? Things are finally starting to feel better. Heckin' croissants, dude. I want some fresh baked croissants with nice butter. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Hey, wait up. Oh, wait. Hey, wait up. It's Alexander, right? Sorry about that. My mom is fighting with Nora over some dumb missing wine. My name's Jake, by the way. It's nice to meet you, Jake. It's nice to meet you, too. Come on, follow me. We've got a bunch to do today. Let's do it. What's up? Oh, nothing. Let's go. Before we head to the vault, I need to show you around. Sometimes you'll need to come to town and chase up overdue books and stuff. Chase up overdue books? So it'll be useful for you to know where things are. But if you want to work things out for yourself, that's cool too. Uh, I'll take a tour. Great. Oh, flip. We're already so late. Better hurry. Okay, it's not my nickname. It's their placement for a curse word. Uh, excuse me. Look at this world they built. Stan lives in the blue building on the end. 
Oh, here he is now. Good morning, Jake. And you must be Alexander. Good morning to you, too. Good morning, Stanley. Anyway, moving on. Marge lives in this yellow one. And, uh, Heather, uh, she lives in that red one. We gotta run. See you, Stanley. Okay, bye now. Whoa. This is my family's pub. We live upstairs. In that purple building over there, it's abandoned. Oh, dude. I can expand your puppery. And now I forgot, this is Peggy's house. She's originally from Silver Pine. Silver Pine Forest. Oh no, she's a werewolf. But she spent a, a really long time in otherwhere. Otherwhere. She just got back. Oh, that one's missing his head. We should put it back on. Behold! <laughs> Just kidding. Check it out. The Vault of Silver Pine. Whoa. Heck, this looks beautiful. That thing's huge. Oh. Okay, we got a new voice here. Rico, listen to me. I'm getting very tired of having this conversation with you. But Kay, the red sendings are acting strangely. You know they are. They're doing nothing they're not supposed to be doing. But what about the one that ate all of Heather's flowers? Marge is still angry about that, you know. Well, sending did, sendings do eat flowers in the vault as well as the sendings. They're ancient. It's no surprise that some things don't work in others well. I'm having a hard time with the voices here. Have gone all slightly mad. All right, well. Uh, wrong voice. All right, well. What about? Oh, we're here now. My goodness, you're finally here. I was sure you'd been eaten by some monster from otherwhere. Haha! <laughs> Very funny! But I'm gonna pretend that was a genuine concern! Rico, I don't have time for this. Make sure those two are kept busy. Okay, but that conversation is not over. Oh, it most certainly is! <laughs> Whatever. How rude of me. You must be Alexander. My name is Raiko. Hi Raiko, nice to meet you. Right back at you. Bad. Right. Jake, I need you with me. We have cl some cleaning up to do. Ah, uh, what? It was I was meant to show Alexander around. I know. But last night, some red sandings made a huge mess. So you and I get to clean it up. In the meantime, Alexander, you'll find a box just near the entrance. It's full to bursting with books that need to be returned to their shelves. This is what we're going to be doing? Okay. You'll need to return them to the shelves. Do you think you can manage that? Sure thing. Enthusiasm. Haven't heard that in a while. I like you already. Oh, and one last thing. We're on the ground floor right now. Don't go any higher than the second level. It's too risky for now. Come on, Jake. Let's go. See ya, Alex! Alright, later, friends. Uh, empty returns box. This... Oh. Collected returns. Okay. Okay. Don't click on any of those. Oh, here you go. Bop. Nailed it. Returned, so your friends are all about to die by Lee Arthur something. Returned, let's get the flip off this planet. Can I climb this? Nope. Don't go higher than the second level.
Here we go. Return chicken recipes to die for. <laughs> Return so you lost the doomsday weapon. Ha! <laughs> Returned a beginner's guide to being mean. Aw. Ooh, tree. These bookshelves are outside. Nice little tea spot. The most pleasant ways to die. Jeez. That'd be a nice little area to have a little cup of tea. Fifty-seven things to do before you die. All right, I got all of them. They said didn't go. Oh, I'm down here now. Journal updated. Yep. Or yep, it's empty. What do I do now? Wait. What was that? The books fall out. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Oh. Hey! I just put that away! Wait. Did you not do that? Hey, stop it! I just put those away! You little book gremlin? Don't. Now listen here, you little... Rude. Unbelievable. Oh. And now you're gone again. I guess I'll put them back with a jerk. Clean up after the book vandal. Okay. Bop. Bop. Destroy humanity in six simple steps. Tips and tricks for stopping extinction events. Those uh, should be read in tandem. Oh, that one didn't even give me a thing. It just said cleaned up. Uh, no! Don't do it again. Why are you like this? Where are you going? Oh, no, you don't! Are those the red spritelings or whatever they're called? Ha! I caught you, you vandal. I... Oh, hold on. There's something wrong with that bookcase, isn't there? Bloop. Investigate the bookcase. Well, I'm gonna go put this book away real quick. I'm a responsible person. Hello? Go back in. Nope. The world is ending. Quit cleaning. Ha 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 ha. That sounds like my procrastination mind. Hey, I got an achievement for that. Hmm. I guess I could just push it. <laughs> push it. A door! I guess that makes sense. Investigate the room. Why is there a giant cell phone here? M. Mm. What are you doing here? Oh no! These are the red ones. Is she a ghost? That's a lot. Oh boy. Uh, flip! I think. I think I might be in trouble. They just let me out. Oh, there I go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a lot of them. What the flip? What the flip? What the flip? What the flip? Oh, it's you. Is that M? Excuse me. Sorry. What in the other world do you think you're doing? A bunch of red things. They're chasing. They've stopped. They're... They all look like angry little red versions of that statue. Mm-hmm. Oh, wrong thing. Mm-hmm. You're as bad as Reiko. I'm too busy for this. Go and get the overdue books from the Marge and, um, Heather. Wait a minute. I thought... Oh, crap. I missed... I saw a red Reiko. She mentioned Reiko, so I switched the voice. Whoops. Spooky. Anyone who walks that slow means business. I better do what she says. Collect overdue books from Marge and Heather. Okay. I don't remember where Marge is. Marge is... Oh, hey. Hello. I'm a comedic tailor. I'd make you a joke, but I've run out of material. Oh, uh... No thanks. That was a joke! Oh. 
Okay. So you sell jokes? Finally, you get it. Why do you need a market stall for that? Go away. <laughs> okay. Heather was down here. Knock, knock. Hi. Yes, can I... Yes, can I help you? Hello. Are you Heather? Obviously. What do you want? You have a book over to you at the vault. Pineapple healing for people who believe that nonsense by people who probably also believe that nonsense. <laughs> Gosh, that's a mouthful. I think it's a wonderful title. Sorry, do you have it? No, I don't. I lost it. Oh, uh, do you have an, any idea where you might have lost it? No. Wait, actually, it's near some waves. And wine. Y'all, if you'll excuse me, I must... I just realized I'm late for... An appointment. You're suspicious. Move, thank you. Sorry. That's okay, sweetheart. Oh, I mean... Good, you should be. Well, I'm gonna look around your house. I'm gonna find this. Where's this book? All this stuff looks healthy. It smells funny. Hmm. Can I go through here? Nope. Okay. Waves and wine? Oh, where are you going? Wait, is that Marge's house? Purveyor of refined sweets open on pleasant days. Hello. Oh, I love you. That's Marge. Hello, sweetheart. I'm Marge, purveyor of fine sweets. How can I help you on this lovely day? I was just here for... Wait, let me guess. Okay, here to try delicious sweet. Take this. Da -na -na -na, delicious sweet. That was as big as my face. Whoa, that was yum. I'm just here for a collect your overdue book. It's called A Simple Cure to Everything Sugar. Oh my goodness. That had completely slipped my mind. Let me get it for you. Thanks, Marge. Here you are, sweetheart. Yay! Hey, your friend walked in here. Um. Sorry, sweetheart. That door was only for staff only. Okay, well, your friend lost her book, and I need to find it. I'm guessing it might be over by the pub wine and waves because wasn't there like a little lake thing over here nope hmm if this place is abandoned why is it so well kept it gives me the creeps i'm not going in no way okay hmm it's locked waves and wine oh here you go oh hey a little person i'd appreciate it if you knocked Oh, it's you, the new kid, Alexander, isn't it? I like her hair. They don't always knock in other, other world, do they? My name is Peggy. I'm an explorer. Well, I guess a retired explorer now. It's nice to meet you, Peggy. You too. What are you reading? Peggy's writing about her time in other world. Otherwhere, whatever. Hey, kid. Did you find something? Hey. You... Sitting. Ooh. Oh, leave Sadie alone. Uh. Hey, new kid. You look like you look like a chump. Want to help me out here for a minute? Did you just call me a chump? 
What? No. You, you gonna help me or what? Sure. All right, follow me, bub. Uh, where's she taking me? All right, bub, here's the deal. At the end of this hallway, there is this key. Get up for me and I'll give you a little something special. As the sending see you, they'll teleport you away. So the trick is to sneak by. Capiche? What does capiche mean? No one alive knows the answer to that question. Off you go! Uh... Wait, what? Yeah, but... Oh! You like getting teleported or something? Don't sass me. Okay, so he's looking left. Oh! Teleporting makes me itchy. Too much information. Okay, I should actually read that because they're pretty... Oops, silly. I'm going to leave you to it, I think. Suits me. Oh, shit. I need to... No. This. Wait, who saw me? Oh, that guy flips around quick. Oops. Wait, what? They're helmets. Helmets. Their cloth hats don't really help. There we go. Oh, that guy flips around quick. Oh. The point is the direction they're doing. I thought that would have been the back. Oops. Damn it. The point, Vasive. The point. Ooh, that was close. Move. Yeet! Got it. Now, if they teleport me... Okay. I was gonna say, if they teleport me back, am I good? I got it! You did it! I'm really proud of you, bub. Thanks. I think. Thanks, I think. There it goes. You're most welcome. Here's your reward. Is it like, gonna be like a handkerchief? Lore book, chapter discovered. Oh. Oh, what's this? Chapter 1 of 10. If you are reading this, beware, for things in the town of Silver Pine are not all that they seem. I have hidden chapters around the town that each reveal a hidden truth. Seek them all out if you want to know the whole story. Not all the chapters will remain hidden, and some will only reveal themselves when they are needed. Good luck, I'll be watching you. That's not creepy. Now get out of here. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't creepy. That wasn't creepy in the slightest. Okay, wine. Wine and waves. All right, I'm gonna go back to the house. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, hello. Hey, book. And a bottle. Return to the vault. Found it. I wonder if this is what missing wine Nora and Jake's mom are fighting over. I should give this back to Jake's mom. I can do that. Hello. You like sunny days? Sure. Sure, they're the best. Lame, Alexander. I don't know. I prefer rainy days, but you didn't give me that choice, Nora. Um, I guess... This is still probably going to be locked, yeah? Yep. Okay, let's go back to the vault. Back is killing me. See if 
any sort of pressure. Oh, it hurts, but it feels good. Why wouldn't I just go put them away? They probably have to mark them as then returned. Hey, Alexander. Hey, Jake. Good job getting those overdue books from March and Heather. What's going on, Yuri? Welcome to the stream. Hey, you want a cookie? Want a cookie? Yay, yeah, I want a cookie! I don't know where Jade is, so hold on to it. How you doing, dude? They can be tough to deal with. Sorry, I had to go help Raiko most of this day. Oh, hey, cookie. Hey, you looking for cookies? No problem. Whew. I was worried you'd feel neglected. Don't worry. I've still got some stuff to show you. Is that rain? If you didn't bring an umbrella, you can share mine. Sure. Just looking for a movie? I just watched Jurassic Park the other day. Great one. Wait, I'm carrying the umbrella and it's his umbrella? That's kind of weird. Hey, I found your bottle. Welcome to the koala and the cream. The koala and cream. I'm family's pub. You should go around the room and make, meet everyone. I'll get us some drinks for my mom. Okay. Mingle with the town folk. Hello. Oh, it's Kay. Michael tells me you completed your work today with distinction. Well done. There's Stanley. I hope you get to meet Peggy. She's wonderful. She's only just got back from another other way, so you're quite lucky. Yep, we met her. Ah. Hi, Alexander. I'm Cena, and Jake's dad. Surely there's more to you than that. Not that I know. Oh. Not that I know of. That was weird. I didn't give his name. I've managed to. I maybe had too many Cosmos politics. Okay. Hello! I met you earlier. Who are you? Raiko. Sienna is a bit rude, but she's sweet when you get to know her. Oh! Sienna is the name of the little girl. Got it. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Or after you bribe her. Hi. Talk to you. What's up, Bob? I'm talking to Raiko. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's me. Hey, you must be Jake's mum. And you must be Alexander. It's lovely to meet you. You too. Listen, I found this bottle of wine by an overdue book of Heather's. Oh, that was me. I found this wine by an overdue book of Heather's. What? You did? Show me. Ta-da! Oh, no. This is the one I thought Nora took. I feel terrible. You should probably go apologize. I'll have to apologize her next time I see her. And poor old Marge is day drinking again. Thanks, Alexander. I said Heather. Oh, yes, of course you did. You're a lovely boy for saying that. Here, take this as a thank you. I got a book! Hey, Sarah, how's it going, friend? I got another book. Chapter 2. Did you know, dear reader, that this town was founded by three people and ascending? Yes, ascending. The founders embodied, embodied a specific value and they created, created their own books and their own sendings in their image. The vanity of some people. Then they created a vault to lock away the things that contradicted their ideas. How very undemocratic. By the way, what was that sendings deal? The one who helped build the town? The one who helped build the town. Does this mean one of the founders is a wild sending who still lives in Silver Pine? I don't understand anything with these lore books. These are weird. Mingle with the town. Hey, there's blue ones. Ooh. Oh, no, not these things again. What's the matter, Alexander? Nothing except... Well, those things are trouble. 
They're called sendings. What did they do? I think I I think I keep switching their voices on accident. Whoops. Uh, this is me. Well, there was this white one that led me to this room. Is that white? It's just blank. Oh, shush, Santa. You know that's not true. Alexander, settings are always either blue, red, or green. Well, this one was white. Uh, or blank. It can't be. Sorry, go on with your story. After it threw half the books I put away on the ground, it led me to the room full of red ones that chased me out of the vault. Right into, K right into K, too. But she doesn't seem mad. Well, that's good. Is that so? Then I have to go. What? You're leaving? Why? I... Right now. No time to explain. That's a game. Well, nothing to read into there. Anyway, you should know that settings are harmless. They exist to maintain the vault. That's all. All right, flippers. Marjorie sloshed. Excuse me, miss. It's two up time. Let's dance. I'm cutting. I'm cutting you. Oh, Jake's mom. I'm cutting you off, Marge. What do you say, Stanley? Wrong thing. What do you say, Stanley? I'm taking heads. You're on. Come on, Alexander. I'll teach you how to play. What are we playing? So our super sober friend Marge here is going to flip three coins. You either pick heads or tails. If all are the majority, if all or the majority are the one you pick, then you win. So why not? So why not just flip one coin? Well, there is a version of this game where the person flipping the coins can win. But let's face it, Marge doesn't care. Are you ready to lose? No, but I'm ready to win. Would you like heads or tails? Tails. All right, tails are yours. Marge, flip them. Ooh. Oh, wait. Ooh. There we go. I think it's an RPG maker game. Oh, damn it. I knew it. All right, two heads. I win. Your coins are fake. By the way, we're playing for secrets. I want to know all yours. Not just because you're from otherwhere, but because I like you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here comes round two. Heads or tails? Tails. Okay, I'll take heads. Obviously. Come on. Oh, wait. Come on, heads. Marge. Who are you even playing against? Yo, I did it. Oh, all three of them. I just win from now on, right? Oh. Tails in the landslide. Well done. You get a secret about me now, too. If you, uh, want it. What was that? Uh, I forgot his voice. Because he doesn't have a name. It's just Jake's head. Nah. You lot take a deep breath and, and breathe. Breath and calm down. Was that the sendings? Booping? Okay. Look what you've done. You scared the poor souls half to death. Look at how the booze they had down there. Can you guys see that? You guys can. Okay. But, uh, but I barely whispered. Jake, make sure they get home safely, please. Okay, but I'm bringing Alexander. Okay, so we're not kids because we're drinking booze. Burp. Excuse me. Typical. It stops raining as soon as it's nighttime. All right. So to make sure the settings get back to the vault safely, you got to give them a little spook. They run straight back into the vault if you do that. Not a big spook. Just a little one. I take it you've done this before. So, so many times. I'm going to the outside of the vault and see if any are hiding there. You to the town, okay? Sounds good. I think we're five sendings in the pub. 
Okay. Spook five sendings. There's one. Boo. Well, you're not very good at hiding. Haha. <laughs> oh! Got one. There's a firefly. This is supposed to be abandoned. Were those lights on before? See? Something's weird. There's one. Boo. Enjoying the view? Ooh. I kind of love them. Hello. It's locked. It's locked. Boo. Ah, sorry. That's funny. Don't do a big scoop, spoop. We're gonna lose him. Did that head move? Hey! I'm gonna go check over here just in case. Okay. Good. I have sendings to spook. Peggy, do you got any spooks in your house? Nope. Any spooks in your house? Any sendings for me to spook in your house? There's one. Boo! I'm boo! Ooh! Uh, missing one. Okay, one's gonna be hiding behind one of these, like, statues, isn't it? Oh, there you are. Hi. I nearly didn't see you there. Ooh! Did it. I'm the best at this game. Good job spooking those sendings. I saw some of them run past me in the vault. They were terrified. What? No. Well, maybe one. I'm just kidding. They were fine. Probably. Hi. Nora, I was hoping you I would run into you. I want to show you something. I'll wait on the bridge. Okay. Oh no! Here comes the feels. When my son went missing, I lost the ability to feel. My whole world was in flames. I just kept thinking. Tomorrow. It'll all stop tomorrow. I know you feel the same way about what you've lost. I'm not making any sense. Every night, I come here, and I put one of these in, in the river. So hopefully he'll see one and come back to me. It's got his name in it, see? Solve. That's his name? Maybe Solve? I made one for you too. Don't worry, I made sure it was green. So your sisters know you want her to find you too. Shall we put them in the water together? Oh, that's cute. Things are starting to get... ...much better. Thank you, Nora. Come on, Alexander! I have one last thing to show you tonight. Okay. Flip side. So, what do you think? The stars are beautiful. I'm glad you think so. I'd like to cash in the secret I won off you at the pub. I got a secret too. I'm not sure what to say. Come on. What's something you've never told anyone? Didn't we just meet... That's a tall order, man. I'm, uh... I'm self-conscious about my ears. That's adorable. What? That doesn't count. It totally counts. You didn't put parameters on it at all. There's nothing wrong with your ears. You don't think they stick out? I used to be self-conscious about my ears. Of course not. Mm, thanks. Can I have your secret now? All right, then. You've probably noticed already 
But, uh... I speak with a lisp. Oh, should I give him a lisp? The secret is that, even though I don't want to be, I'm ashamed of it. Aw. What? As if you do. Ah, uh, it's okay. I know I do. Thanks for not noticing. Everything that surrounded them. The need for sleep. It was forgotten. Neither one of them wanted a single thing from the other. Instead, they simply needed everything. And happiness hit Alexander. Hey, he's finally happy. Hey, Crimson, how's it going, friend? Welcome to the stream. Have I really been streaming for an hour? Holy crap. I have one last question for you tonight, Alexander. Tonight, it's like early morning, dude. Shoot. Can I call you Alex? No one had ever given Alexander a nickname before. Look at the freaking scenery. It's gorgeous. For reasons he didn't quite understand, this gesture meant a lot to him. Yes. Please, call me Alex. Okay, Alex. Jake's mom. There you two are. We've been worried sick. Both of you, come home and get some sleep. You're gonna be so late to the vault. Kay's rage may cause her to... do something illegal. I'm glad to see you two are friends again. Oh, I'm glad to see you two are friends again. Later that day. Uh, this is Jake. I go. Where are you? Let's go to the hidden door, dude. All right, go. Are you here? Hmm. No. Okay. The chair looked like I had eyes. Looks like we'll be going up to level two. Are you scared? You wish, jellyfish. Whoa. Oh, for flip's sake. Flip's sake. Why are you two here? Well, that's not nice. We were worried about you. I'm sorry. I've been up all night. That's okay. Thank you, Alexander. You forget people so easily. Why did you leave last night? There's nothing for either of you to worry about. But Raiko! That's her for sitting. Mostly. Wow. She just lock it or she went in it. Whoa, that's safe. Whoa, whoa, secret door. Ah, what the flip was that? Typical. What do you mean, typical? This is what everyone means when they talk about Vault being dangerous. It's so old, it's falling to bits. We'd better make sure Raiko is okay. Oh, um, what is it? The door's gone. Captain Observant. I take you don't know how to get it back? I do not. That is a problem. <clears throat> you don't seem worried? Well, I was just thinking she wasn't all that nice, you know? What's that got to do with... Jake! You're not suggesting. Oh my god, Drama Llama. I was kidding! Drama Llama. Secret tunnel. <laughs> oh right, sorry. What should we do? I expect if we turn the gears back on, the door will come back. Let's look for clues. I'll check out these bookcases. Go team! That's later. Solve or save Raiko. Blue, green. Oh, 
buttons. Orange, purple. Two, three, four, one is the one way to look at it. What's strange how to for No way. Did I find it already? Two, three, no. Two, three, four, one. Same thing. Okay. I don't feel so clever. Pointless complicated uses for overly large gears by Luke Miller. All right, dude, you got to find something. Just luck. Okay. Woo! You did it. Are you sure you want to save Raiko right now? Are you sure you're kidding? Reasonably. Let's go. Chapter two, okay. Finding the end. Oh, I'm going to yawn. Sorry, I apologize. It's not here. If it's not on the podium, the room should have split apart. Something is terribly wrong. Listen to this music. Aha, Raiko, we totally had to save you. We... What's wrong? Uh-oh. No, it can't be. Oh, no! Well, I'm over here now. Alexander, I need you. He prefers Alex. Oh, God. Jake, be quiet. Alex, I need you to run as fast as you can to Nora's house. Find her and bring the safe book of safety back with you. The safe book of safety. Or or just bring the book. I don't mind. I have a bad feeling. A really bad feeling. I'm on it! We'll find Nora. I'm coming. Where are you, Nora? I need your book. Who's Nora? This music is intense. I don't remember who Nora is. Is that one of the old ladies? I'm gonna try. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. It's not one of these. I don't remember who Nora is. They're not in the pub, right? There's someone moving inside. See? locked is Nora in the oh Nora my mom or my foster mom or whatever duh Nora she's gone I have to find the book what was that or what was that oh green boy hi that's my book no it's mine I got it. The safe book of safety. Why is it here? Better, be better get back to the vault. What are you doing in my house? Let's go. Got our friend. Save our friends from the collapsing vault that no one seems to be worried about. Digging these tunes though. Let me in. Okay, the door is still there. I found it. Wait a minute. Oh, she's up there. Did I just chuck it to you? That should do it. That's interesting.
that part where like the crack just kind of overlaid right here right about there and it just kept sliding i wonder if that was a fix that they couldn't get it to work right so it's like oh we'll just underlay it and then now it's back to normal it worked thanks alex no problem phew what do you mean phew you weren't sure it would work don't worry about it but do worry about this i need you to go and get stanley's book we need to keep it safe if people are disappearing i need to check on my sister Oh, please. She might be young, but she's perfectly capable of looking after herself. Hmm. You should find me when you get a chance, Alex. I'll be on the other side of the vault. Jake, that's in an out-of-bounds of area. Are you sure he's ready? Of course! Alex is smart. I mean, he saved us. That's true. Alex! Oh, wait. Alex! I did it wrong again. Alex, you're now free to move about the vault as you please. But be careful. You better go, Jake. Okay, Alex. Don't forget. Meet up with Jake on the other side of the vault. Wait a minute. Hey, Alex. Where's Nora? She... I couldn't find her. Hmm. That's strange. Look. I'm sure she's just gone for a walk or something. Why don't you check in with the townsfolk to see if anyone's seen her? Okay, I'll do it. Thanks, Alex. Don't worry. We'll find her. Are you telling me what the other wear is going on? I'll let you know when I know. Now, I have a bone to pick with our vault keeper. Nora. Or not Nora. K, right? See if anyone see Nora. Go find the book at Stanley's and then go meet Jake and behind the vault. You got this. Stanley! Coming for you first. <laughs> Complete shift of tone right there. Oh. Hey, Stanley. Here we go! Knock, knock. Oh, hello. How can I help you? Piggy! Do you know who I am? Oh, okay. You're Raiko's guardian. So, you don't remember? I... I have to... Oh, no. What a strange person. Okay. Stanley, I need your book. Hey, buddy. Stanley, are you okay? Oh, Alexander, mate. I'm fine. I just can't turn around right now because... Uh... I've got hay fever! That's it! Are you crying or I hate hay fever? I'm just gonna say, I hate hay fever. Me too! What can I help you with? Have you seen Nora? She's gone wandering, her, wandering again, has she? Let Jake's mom know. She can normally find her. There's nothing to worry about, mate. Okay. But I want your book. Dang it. Okay. Can I get in here? Pop up. <gasps> I'm in here. They have candy in their house. Mars, are you there? No? Okay. Oops. <laughs> uh, 
that was confusing. It's locked. Okay. Clever writing. Hey, doggo. Can I pet? No. I want to pet the doggo. Scott. How much do you know about eggs? Oh, uh, the normal amount? Typical. Another casual. Anyway, I sell jerky. Come back when you're an expert. Okay. I want to pet this dog. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Murph. Name is Pepper. Yes, you are. Yes, you are a good boy. If this place is abandoned, why is it so well kept? Yep. It gives me the creeps. Yep. Nobody's here. Hello. Alexander, what are you doing here? Where's Jake? He's in the vault and... Have you seen Nora? No, I haven't. She's gone missing again, hasn't she? Oops. No, I haven't. She's gone missing again, hasn't she? Yeah. I see. Well, I'll go look in the regular spots. Can't you just tell everyone where the regular spots are? Don't worry, we'll find her. Okay. Knock, knock. A sock on the floor. Huh. Big legs cricket too. I swear I'm addicted to these things. What? Cards? Enter and I will destroy you, Sienna. Ha! <laughs> it looks like it's repeated in a bunch of different languages. That's funny. The shelf has so much junk on it. It's locked. His little sister cracks me up. I will destroy you. Uh. Oh, I knocked the sign. You knocked. Or you knocked. I'm so proud. Have you seen Nora today? Who is Nora? You don't know Nora? She lives by the beach. Oh, of course. No, I haven't seen her. She might have amnesia. Or, uh... Alzheimer's. Although I heard her putting lanterns in the river again last night. I need two more people? Who's the other two people that I can talk to? Knock, knock. some of this jam. Everything has been left out. Okay. Um. Who else can I talk to? I don't know where the old ladies are. Maybe I need to go back to the vault. Uh. Check if anyone has seen Nora. Meet up with Jake in the vault. Hmm. I don't want to go back into this room, Nora might be there. Oh, I touched a stone. And there's an airplane here. What? Okay. That was wild. Making the perfect town. The incorruptible person. Okay. Uh. She's not in there. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Man. Can't stop yawning today. Oh. I thought this was going to meet up with the other side. This is creepy. Here lies Heather's self in Marge's heart. Wait, what? Oh. What? 
Why is she a ghost? Oh. Hello, dear. Heather, you're... Not all here. I was going to say being nice. But yes, that too. Oh my god, no! Aj must be dressing up as me again. In her head, I'm much meaner than I really was. Why would she do that? The poor duck has trouble letting go. Heather, what are you? I am a memory, dear. Does that mean you're... Well, not necessarily. But in this case, I am afraid so. I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, dear. It means I get to stay in this room. For as long as I want. And I'll probably want to stay for a long time. Why is that? Did you know that it's always the early mornings in this room? She was night. And I was day. But we could always agree on dawn. If you see her, can you, can you let her know I'd love to see her again? Even if it's only once more. Oh, her partner's dead. Hello, sweetheart. Is she, is she in there? She'd love to see you. What would you do if you were me? Well, why haven't you seen her yet? It's such a simple question when you ask it. His music is amazing. The truth is, I don't really know. We were just fighting. I don't even remember why. I suppose it's time. Alexander. I have some advice for you. Never hold a grudge against someone you love. There are no winners. Only people who lost time but would have been to get better, better spent together. You know, there is something special about you. You bring people together. You, I do? Have you seen Norris today, Marge? Oh, wait. Have you seen Nora today, Marge? Ha! There you go again. I haven't, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Ah! Uh, stinking feels. Hmm. Townsfolk questioned. Okay. Is that Sienna? Whoa. Whoa. Hello. I'm trying to study here. Are you standing on that chair? Who are you? The chair police? She grags me up. Hello. Jake's dad? Nope. Have you seen Nora? It is Jake's dad. Not since yesterday. Sorry. Okay. Ask all the townsfolk. Did it. Well, what's in here? It's locked. Oh, I found Jake. Perfect timing. Huh. Well, this is strange. What is it? Hey, Alex, you're here. What is it? These shelves are normally full of books. This is very strange. Hey! Where are all the books? You can talk to them? What? Oh, no, I can't. But I kind of just do it anyway. Oh! You look mad. Ooh! ooh. <laughs> Fucking ooze. Yeah! This ending is not going to let us through. Where do I go find the missing books? That's a lot of books missing. Yo, there's that one. Oh, it's you again. I better not find any books thrown on the floor. Oh my, what? You're real. I told you. I totally believed you. Maybe. Is it going to do something? 
probably think of a new way to get me chased. So if we go into that room, we'll get chased out. That's my read anyway. But that's Kay's office. Alex, what if that's where the missing books are? Mingo, it tends to disappear when you're right. How odd. Or how odd. And convenient. So that was, was that teaching us a mechanic where if we're right, it goes away. It's locked. Well, that is inconvenient. You mean inconvenient. <laughs> you mean inconvenient. What'd I say? Never mind. Anyway, I know someone with a key. <sighs> is it K? Ryko? No! Well, K, yes. No, someone else and it ain't gonna come cheap. I checked on her earlier. She's studying in that room over there. His sister? No, I won't say it. What won't you say? Yeah, that's essential to your schooling. How could this possibly, in any possible way, be relevant to anything? Seriously, what in other, other where are you two talking about? Jen is learning about riddles today, and... I know what riddles are, old man. And what you're talking about, they're not riddles. They're disgusting. They're... I think I might be sick. They're thinly disguised dad jokes. <laughs> oh, no! Either way, you're not leaving today without... You, until you answer one. You are mad with power. Question or question one? I won't answer. How do lumberjacks know how many trees they've cut down? <laughs> the answer is, uh, or they keep a log. They keep a log. <laughs> you didn't even make that up. I'm hilarious. I'm leaving now. I probably won't ever come back. I'll come with you. I gotta ask you something. Oh, heck yeah. Let's do the dad jokes. Here we go. Want to hear another joke? Aw. No. Damn it. I wanted to hear another joke. Oh, the poppages. You still don't trust me? I'm an adult now. Hey, don't get off topic. It's a loan, okay? It's the best key I've got, and I don't want it lost. How did you get this? Er, how did you get this? Don't ask questions you shouldn't know the answer to. Anyway. I better go back in. Don't come lo looking soon. Thanks again. Remember, it's alone. Uh, what did it cost you? I don't want to talk about it. Let's go. Holy crap, that's a lot of books. The books. They're all in here. How strange. Oh, there's one of the red ones. Oh no, I knew this would happen. What on earth is going on? I'm about to be chased out. Oh. <laughs> I came out running. What the? This might take a while. Did they... Did they put the books back under the spider webs? It looks like it. Huh. I know you're busy looking for Nora. But would you mind helping me find this book? Sure. Thanks, Alex. I really appreciate it. The books we're looking for is blue. It's called Belonging. A manual. Or the book of belonging. The manual of belonging? Something like that, anyway. Whoever finds the first wins! Alright. I'm gonna speed up. Click, 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 click. 
Click, click. Where is it? 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 I'm clicking. It's been a while since I've been in here. But I think I need to find a key. Okay. Uh... I'm not seeing anything. Mm, come here, little finger. Wait, what if I do this? Nope. 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 Okay. What if I leave? Nope. These things are shiny, but I can't do anything with them. What if I do this? Maybe I'll step on this. Okay. I did it. Ew, that made me feel sticky. Ew. Hey, look, I'm over here. Go me. Okay, so little black... I don't know, platform things. Cookie or teleporties. Time. Cookie time! Sarah, with the cookie times? Want some cookies? Hey, give me your face. Give them. Hey, take us some money for cookies. Yum. Go cookies for the doggies. All right. This maze labyrinth of books. Oh, oh. That is a huge keyhole. Oh, I found another teleporter. I'm gonna go observe down here real quick. Oh, a book. That's probably the book I need. I need this. You're not gonna teleport me out of here, are you? Wait, where are you going? Ooh! ooh. <laughs> the heck? I think I spooked that one last night. Ah! So I probably had that coming. Where's the book gone? Oh, weak sauce. Oh, man, it's up there now. Hey, guess what? I found it, but I scared this thing. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm just going to go talk to him. Hey, dude, I need that book. Ooh. What have you got there? Sorry for scaring you. Oh. Yes, I got the key. The key? Can I keep this? Ooh. Thanks. I really am sorry. I got a heckin' key. Don't mind me, bro. I got this. One man army. All right, where's that giant key slot? Bop. I did it. Belonging, a manual. Oop, I'm down here. Uh, I didn't consent to being teleported just then. At least I got the book. You got the book? I sure did. Here you go, Jake. Why is Jake saying, here you go, Jake? That might be a typo. Yep, that was a typo. Thanks, Alex. Now let's get out of here. Okay, found the book. A ladder. A magic ladder. Whoa! I've never seen that ladder before. What if Nora's up there? Only one way to find out. Up we go. Oh, dope. Ugh, music. Oh, K shows up. Jake, you're not about to climb that ladder, are you? Um, no. Yes, of course you wouldn't. It wouldn't be very smart to go into an unexplored area in the vault, would it? Um, no, it wouldn't. Yeah, you never know. You might just get lost. Leave him alone. Watch what you say to me. 
I don't trust you, Kay. The vault is mine. Let's see. You are not welcome. The vault. The vault belongs to the town. Don't let me catch either of you near the ladder again. If I do, let's hope the consequences I will bring be the, will be the worst that you experience. Is Kay always like that? It doesn't take much to annoy her these days. But she used to be nice. Anyway, I'd rather get this book to Ryko. There's a secret room under the stairs in the vo vault foyer. Foyer. She told me to meet her there. Come find us when you're ready. Okay. Secret room under the stairs. That would be this. Well, that's not stairs, so I guess that's not a secret room under the stairs. Secret room under the stairs. Would it be this one? Hey, there you go. That's a strange looking book. I wonder what would happen if I... Scooby-Doo! The room behind the bookcase. That's not cliche at all. What are you doing over there, Jada? What are you doing over there, Jada? Okay, Alex, you're here. Did you find Nora? No, I, I didn't. No matter. She'll turn up. Jake was just telling me about the ladder you two found. And Kay's reaction when you tried to climb it. It's time I let you both in on what's going on here. I won't waste any time. The vault is a weapon. It has killed the world before. What? And ten years ago, it nearly did it again. What? Jake, hush. What? Okay, if you don't become Vault Keeper, it will go... It will go to her. You can't ask me to do this. Uh, Nora. I am the safekeeper, Kay, and I need your help to enact the responsibility. I understand that. But what you're asking for is betrayal. I won't do that to her. Kay, you can't allow this to happen. If she becomes the vault keeper, she'll find a way to overrule Nora and I. What? Then she'll use the vault to create more vaults. She'll keep doing it and doing it until the tools to kill the world are in the hands of every human on Earth. The cycle will begin again. The mission of Silver Pine failed. She would bring the world to its final end. Maybe she's right. Maybe we are corrupt. Maybe any human should be... Maybe any human should be able to use the vault. The benefits it provides are endless. The vault killed the world, Kay. You know this. Its only purpose now is to prevent another from ever being created. And we are here to make sure that it's never used for that purpose. Kay, you know what's happening. We're near the end. Every second we don't act, she comes closer to taking over. We were always meant to be the Vault Keepers, Kay. It was always you. Never her. You are the best of us. We need you. Wait, the people switched? I'm so confused. Silver Pine is run by a committee of three, each of which is given a book. When all three are gathered in this room, the Vault's power can be unleashed. The Encyclopedia of Understanding. It's fucking DBZ and Dragon Balls. This book is given to the Vault Keeper. Okay. Belonging. A manual. This book is given to the Peeper's Keeper. Stanley. The Safe Book of Safety. This book is given to the safekeeper, Nora. 
with sendings assist keepers with their duties. The red sendings, Kay's sendings, they've been acting suspiciously, suspiciously for some time now. And after what you said at the pub, and everything that's happened since, well, my fears have been confirmed. I believe that Kay's book was taken some time ago. And whoever was threatening the town ten years ago, it scared the three keepers, Nora, Stanley, and Kay, enough to use the vault. And now it's back. And we are totally unprepared. It's Raiko, isn't it? I need both of you to meet me in the foyer tomorrow. We are going to find what she's hiding up that ladder. Until then, stick together. That night. Get the butt, get the butt. Get the butt. You know, you didn't need to walk me back here. What? I didn't? I'm staying with you tonight. Raiko said to stick together. You always do what Raiko tells you to do? Only when it's the right thing to do. Thank you, Jake. Don't thank me. I like spending time with you. By the way, does Nora have a spare bed? That's adorable. Jake. Oh, wait, this is me. Jake. Yes, Alex. What if someone finds us? Finds us doing what? I feel like that is obvious. Sharing a bed? I mean, won't people think? Do, or do you have a problem with it? I really need to change his tone of voice. Well, no, I don't. Okay, Alex. I know you're not from here. But I'm not sleeping on the floor unless I have to. I just don't have the back for it. Also, you're in Silver Pine now. People are good here. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Now let's get some sleep. Uh, this is this a dream? You have to help me feed them. They are judging me. Feed the sendings, okay. They're judging you. Bop, bop, bop. Bop. Here you go. One. Two. Three. Enjoy. Done. Thank you, Alexander. I was worried they'd eat all my biscuits. Eek is waiting for you outside. Okay. <gasps> hey. You're finally here. Huh? You're waiting for me? Yes, of course. One of these sending stole my sweets. What? How do you know? I just do. Go through their crates and get it back. Need a sneeze. Oh, I yawn, apparently. Isn't that rude? How should I know? You're the adult. Find the stolen sweets. They're not here. Uh. There's more crates over by Stanley's thing, right? Wait a minute. Does that have to be next to him? No. I do. You know you're dreaming, right? Wait, did you just talk? <laughs> so I think I have to be actually next to them. There it goes. Ah, here are the stolen sweets. Better give them back to Sienna. You found the sweets! So what, you just do whatever children tell you to do? Thanks for that, bub. I'm surprised they actually had some. Anyway, Jake's waiting for you at the beach. Okay. Wait. I just got teleported. 
I know exactly how I got here. Alex, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Jake is waiting for you. Oh, but be careful of the birds and remember. The closer you are to danger, something... Something ham, I think? What? Birds. Ah! Where did those birds come from? I was out here like one second ago. Why do I keep standing still? Can I do this? Ah! This is gonna be obnoxious. I hate birds. Aha! Oh no, I'm over here. He's all- Whoa, we're all blue now. Whoa! I'm here now! I almost said that, but then I got distracted by the blue. That makes sense. Found him. I found you! I knew you would. This music. What the heck? Why are you looking at me? I knew him when I first saw you. I keep looking back at you to remind myself. Remind yourself of what? I will never be as young as we are, we are again. You know, when I'm talking to you, it's like there's something underneath what we say. It's like there's, there's something underneath what we say. Whoa, loud. A connection we have. It's the understanding that I'd wait for you and you'd wait for me too. Like we're in this together or something. And well, it's okay that I have nothing else. Alex, knowing you and facing forever. I just can't wait. This music is dope though. I, oh wait, it's me. I, I can't wait either. Oh, him giving me a kiss. Aww. We in love. I feel like I'm home. Oh, that's nice. He's, ex he's experiencing happiness again. You know what? You know why that is, right? Why? It's because you are. Damn! Dropping the fields bombs. I'm home. Knowing you and facing forever. I just can't wait. Was I s speaking in my sleep? Because I do that in real life. It was a dream. Jake, wake up. Huh? What the? Morning breath. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, sorry. <coughs> what is it? I'm... I'm just... I'm looking forward to today, that's all. Hmm. Okay. Me too. He goes back to sleep. Late to that day. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Since you're both late again, we'd better get to work. Alex, you empty the returns box. Somehow it is full already. Which makes zero sense. Like five people live in this town. Anyway, Jake, you go to Peggy and get the final draft of her autobiography. What's going on? Are we meant to be going up to the... Nope. <laughs> um. Interesting. Don't know what you're talking. But it's green. It's. Anyway, let's all work. Let's all get to work then, shall we? Um. Okay. Chop chop. Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? 
now before I go someplace that isn't here. Alex, one of the books needs to be returned to that room to your left. And Jake, give me that book you found yesterday with Alex. Hmm, okay. Let's go, quickly now. Oh, this isn't good. Eee! Do they, wait, do they just do, do different things? Do green say something else? A-E-O, okay. Gotta put some books back. They are full. Did you lie to me? Just to get me to leave? I'm not controlling it. Uh-oh. Hey, Alex, wait up. Dealing with Peggy was easier than I expected. Let me help you empty the returns box. Did Ryko tell you to do this? What? No. This was an independent thought. I have those sometimes. Thanks, Jake. No problem. The sooner we finish here, the better. Jake is returning four of the books. Wait, didn't I have five? I thought I saw something. Guess not. Hmm. Where are these books? Oh, there's some one. There you go. How to never climb a ladder. I'm... Hmm. Suspicious, suspicious. There we go. Death, misery, and ladders. Very suspicious. Ten gruesome ladder accidents. Hmm. Okay. So let's go back to the, uh, the other side. Let's see if we can find any. There we go. Uh oh. Don't climb that ladder by Meteor Matt. Oh, nice. Seriously, the ladders are trouble. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't climb that ladder in other tales. Alex, do not climb that ladder. Yo, ju by just don't. By just don't. That's significant. Oh, wait. What? I will not lose to you. I will never lose to you. Not again. Huh? It's locked. Okay. Okay. I missed one. It might be that little mini room. I don't think I can get back here. Oh, I can still. Doesn't matter. No bookshelves. Here we go. Oh, they talking. Whoa. That didn't teleport. Pick up the strange book. Nope. I return them all. I suddenly really feel like climbing a ladder. I'm taking this. Found a strange book. Is that the one that needs to go on the other pedestal? I can't click on this thing. Here we go again. I didn't realize it was this easy. Yep. Knew she was going to betray us.
Hmm. That was so neat. This has to be the first time you two have ever been on time to anything. Alex, did you find that book I had the blue sendings fetch? You did that? Yeah, I did. Give it to me, please. What happened over there? Hmm. It's like I thought. I know what's up that ladder. If Kay doesn't want us to see it, that's what we'll do. But before I forget... Jake, take Stanley's book back. She wouldn't expect me to leave it with you. Um, no offense. It's kind of hard not to be offended by that. It's kind of hard not to be offended by that. But yeah, I'll take the book back. Before we go, I need to tell you both what's up there. It's a chunk of the old dead world. From the time before the time that was not counted. So things might get freaky. Now, you first, Alex. Wait, isn't it weird that the sending key left is gone? Yeah. Er yeah. Hmm. I didn't think I'd have to get rid of that one, too. Nothing much we can do about that now. Last one up the ladder is the worst. Uh, what? That's not fair. Whoa. Zombie people. You look like a zombie. His name is Glumpy. Urgh. These new rules are great. I really love the rules. The more mundane and complicated, the better. What the flip was that? What? Who are you? You can't be here. It's against the rules. Ooh, that was fun. Um, excuse me. You didn't, you didn't tell me I'd get sucked into some vortex. Sorry, I thought I'd make a good surprise. It would have been fun if it wasn't a surprise. I bet Jake will be a, will be cross. I know, I can't wait. Excuse me. Oh, hello there. Well, it's nice to finally be noticed. Wait a minute. You're ascending. What? Oh, what? No, it can't be. No, Alex, it is. The original sendings were made to look like humans. Everyone thought they were super creepy. So they changed them later in models. Um, excuse me. Oh, and they could talk. I'm not sure why we removed that functionality. Did you just call me an outdated model? You're not outdated. You're basically a zombie. Aw, oh, you're basically a zombie. I said that, so. How dare you? Zombies are beautiful. I'll have you know. Oh, that must be really rude. I'm so sorry. Not forgiven. You're both awful. Okay, new rule. Neither of you are allowed to talk to me. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why we got rid of the talk functionality. Bye. Okay, I like Glumpy. What an ancient little twerp. Alex, oh wait. Alex, do me a favor and break a couple of its rules. I heard that. But don't note it down. What's wrong with you? I don't care if you heard me. Did you come here just to hurt my feelings? No, I came here to find something. Well, there's nothing here for you. I tell you to leave, but that's against the rules. <clears throat> I'm gonna go look for whatever case hiding. Come talk to me once you're done breaking the sending's rules. I'm gonna break some heckin' rules! What kind of rules do you have? Great. I guess you don't care about the rules. I guess you don't care about order or keeping safe. I'm not saying another word to you. 
Go away. Thank you. Okay, what kind of rules can I break? Oh, you found it. Not now. Sorry, Alex. She didn't find it. Okay. Oh, another zombie. Can I get in there? It's stuck, I think. I want to get them on talk to you. Um. Oh, dude, look at. <gasps> Is that Nora's son? Hold up. Hello. Oh my god, it's her son. I don't know you. You look familiar. Crap. We found him. You're not allowed to go any further. It's against the rules. But well, where you're sitting is okay. Well, it's not against the rules. And the rules are here to keep us safe. So if I'm not breaking the rules, I'm safe. Sound logic. What did I do? Oh. Flip. Ah! I fell off. Okay. Shit. Hey! You broke the rules and nothing bad happened. That's awesome! Wait a minute. Are you Solve? Nora's son? Oh. Yeah. I am. I recognize you from the painting in your mom's house. You've come from Silver Pine, I take it? There's not much to say about my mom. She gave up on me, so I gave up on her. I need a minute. Uh oh. Broke a couple rules. Hey, buddy. When I got lost, I was sure my mom would come find me. I was wrong. Now Dead World is my home. I'll never go back to Silver Pine. Oh, that's sad. Hey, dude, I broke some rules. Are you finished breaking the rules? Yeah, and I guess I found Nora's son. What? Here? Is he okay? I mean, he's sulking, but otherwise he seems fine. Well, that clearly what Kay is hiding. Although, that is much more evil than I thought. I take it Jake is looking after him? I thought Jake was with you. No, he's not. Huh. Oh, wait. This is me. Or her. Huh. I wonder why you didn't follow up us up the ladder. Look, let's just find a way out of here. You had one of your sandling, sandlings holding back, huh? I bet Nora's back by now. She'd be dying to see Solve. Why not ask Solva where the exit is? We just discovered that this monstrosity in front of us is a dead vault. So I'll need a few more minutes with it. Oh, she's trying to activate all the vaults. Okay. Solve it. I want to talk to this zombie. Is there a way out of here? Maybe, but trust me, there's no reason to go back to Silver Pine. They don't even know you're gone. If it's Solve, no one never give up on him. I could do that. <laughs> Things aren't so bad for me here, you know? Glumpy and gl Clumpies have looked after me. Who gave them those awful names? I know. They chose them. They think they're nice. Please don't correct them. I, it breaks our hearts. Uh, okay. I'm gonna grab this shiny. Be like, look, this is from your mom. It's one of the lanterns Nora makes for salt. Maybe it'll show him, she'll understand. Oh, I have to get six of them? Okay.
Mine was green and I thought hers was the yellow one. Got him. Go up there. Thank you. My mic is picking up my clickety clackies all of a sudden. Look at these lanterns. Why? Aren't they rubbish? Read it. Oh, it's from my mom. How many do you have there? I found six. I, I see them floating down the river every other day. They were all from her? Every last one. Minus one I did myself. Okay. I was wrong. She never gave up. We're getting out of here. I'm going to disrupt distract Glumpy. And you, you rip up the garden. It's Glumpy's favorite thing in the world. Oh, that's sad. But um, be careful. I want them to be able to replant them. I'm sure Glumpy knows the way out. We just need to make them really mad and they'll tell us. Okay, let's do it. Aw. I gotta destroy his garden. I can't move up. There it goes. Sorry, dude. I gotta break your garden. I did it. Sorry. What in dead world? My beautiful garden. I feel really bad. Me too. Did you put him up to this solve? Sorry, Glumpy. Today I have lost two of the three things I love. The ultimate rule. The one that protects my garden. Broken. Take my key. Inside these buildings, there are three switches. Activate them and you can all leave. I've had enough. Oh, I don't feel good about this. I got a key. Activate the three switches. Sorry. Can I say sorry? Nope. I'm really sorry, Gumbly, after everything Clumpies and I- Or after everything Clumpies and I did for you. We loved you. Nurtured you. I want to talk to this one. Doesn't let me. Oh, there's no problem, Gups. Welcome back. What games you playing? There might still be some power in this vault. Sorry. <gasps> Ban the keepers. Resist the vault. Excuse me. There's three switches. Oh, <laughs> what switches? I didn't see anything resembling a switch. Oops. I'm going to fall again, aren't I? Did I fall or did I... Why did I just do that again? Uh, I have a key. Do I get in here? Aha! Beep. Oh, you're playing some more Fortnite? I thought you were done with that game. I thought you were switching to uh, Valorant. Is that the game? Not Apex, right? Ah, I can talk to her. We really wanted to, we really wanted to return him. But she couldn't, but she would let us. There was still some power left in the dead vault. She used it on us. Who's she? I can't say. I want to. But it's against the rules. Don't worry, Gluppy will forgive you. Gluppy just needs time. Okay. Wait a minute. Did I miss something? Oh, I found a switch. Okay. That's what they look like. They look like little Nintendo pads. Okay. 
Okay. Three switches. Ooh, what does this one say? It never ends. Easy. this say it was my mother was that solve saying it was Nora jump off the bridge break the rules <laughs> look behind you that creeped me out There's got to be something in here. Um. Hmm. I don't see any doors or anything. Can't go in those. Maybe I'll talk to, um, is that one? Nope. I'll go talk to Raiko. See if it activated anything. Hmm. Where is she? Where'd she go? Great security. There's one. Okay, I got two of three. Oops. Let me out. Where's the last one? It's got to be in this building. Right? It says look behind me, but... It's not very helpful. This looks broken. Hmm. <gasps> Was that just luck that I activated those? Okay. Oh, a teleporter. Sorry, it wasn't that much help here, Alex. I forgive you. Those are both kind of douchey. You're the best, Alex. Now that we've got Saul, we can go back to Silver Pine and confront Kay. I'll miss you too. I won't miss you. Don't say that, Glovey. We will, we will so miss Saul. Alex was very careful. Probably able to replant the garden in no time. I'll miss you, Sal. I. So will I. Thanks, you do. I know you love me more than your garden, Glubby. And your rules. Aww. So why don't you two come with us? It's a lovely thought, Sal, but we can't. Not right now, anyway. He did, but... Solve, let's get out of here. Alex, you go first. See, she always makes me go first. Don't trust her. Yo, that house. Woo, back in Silver Pine. I'm gonna eat so many sweets. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, hey, hello. Oh, this is nice. Is anyone ever going to ask me if I actually want to be teleported? Alex, you're here! Hi, Dougie. Jake! Where have you been? I've been... 
here? And where is that? Elsewhere. Are we still in Silver Barn? My best guess is we are somewhere deep in the vault. Goodness, Alex, I've been so... So what? So bored. When did you get here? I don't know. An hour or two ago? Probably after he got teleported from the uh, ladder. Yikes. I know. When you two were climbing the ladder, a red sending. It took Stanley's book and moved me here. How did you get here? Well, I was leaving Dead World and well... The moment I got back to Silver Pine, sending me sent here. Ah, I see. So much has happened. We found Solve. Oh, that's me. So much has happened. We found Solve. You did? That's incredible. Where was he? My nose is just like crazy right now. Dead World. Dead World again. Was that the place up the ladder? Yeah, I'll tell you all about it. That sounds great. Are we trapped up here? If all three books are missing, shouldn't we be trying to get back? Wait, did you just say all three books are missing? Yeah. Silver Pine is in some real trouble this time. But I tried and I couldn't find a way out. What are you looking at? This is really pretty. Wow, it's incredible. How long can we survive up here? Yeah. Forever, I think. This place, elsewhere, it's self-sustaining. I was worried about being stuck up here alone before. But with you here, I wouldn't mind staying forever. You should go explore. Maybe you'll find some way out that I overlooked. Don't worry, Jake. We'll find a way back home. Go explore. There's like nothing, nowhere to go. Hey, doggy. Click on any of this. Oh, got a little heart apple. You want a heart apple? Did you pick both apples? Have one. I will. Thanks, Alex. Um. Apple picker achievement. <laughs> Book. Every single one of my favorite books is in here. This food looks delicious. These beds look extremely comfortable. It's a good thing there are two beds. <laughs> Get out! There we go. These statues are always covered in moss. Did you find a way out? No, I give up. Oh, well. We'll get off this rock soon enough. We might as well make the most of it. No way off the island. Where's that waterfall originating? Doesn't make sense. I'm drinking some beers. I'm kind of surprised this place has alcohol. I know. Isn't it the best? Alex, listen. We spend a lot of time together now. Oh, I got those backwards. I guess so. Dragon Master! Oh, you are not the stream boss. I should update that. How you doing, dragon? What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I feel like I know everything about you. Except, well, it feels like you've still got a secret. Probably just the one. I don't, honestly. But even if I did, who's to say I know all yours? Hey, I'm an open book. Are you dying? No. Well, do you have some kind of other kind of sickness? Something not life-threatening? A strange rash? No. It's 
stream's going well. Uh, last day for charity stream and raising money for a Trevor Project. So we're playing a queer inclusive game that was gifted us to uh, by a wonderful streamer named uh, Jeff. Jeff Brettleg. I don't know if you know him. Highly recommend him. He's awesome. Do, do you reckon I could jump it? Hmm. Probably not. Yep, he splashed. <laughs> Are you close right yet? Almost. I said you couldn't jump it. You still dared me, though. It was funny. I know. I'm doing just fine, my friend. Thank you for asking. Are you illiterate? Yes, I'm reading this novel for the pictures. Although if I keep reading in the dark, I might go blind. Now will you stop asking? I'll stop asking when I find out what you're hiding. You're just hanging out here for days? Looks like it. I just eat another apple. You have a cousin who collects used band-aids? Gross. What? No. Also, yuck, I'm eating. I found a thing. What did I find? And I ate it. Oh, sugar. Are you addicted to sugar? Yeah, probably. But only when Marge is making it. Oh, I just had a hamburger. Here we go. I will send you a quick shout out for him because. Oops. Got to do his whole name. Awesome streamer. Definitely recommend him. Has a great community around him. He's been playing Dragon Age. Oh, and as it says right there. The food here is so good. Oh, maybe that's it. Are you the world's greatest chef? Perhaps only disguised it as a muddy 19-year-old. What the flip are you talking about? I realized I was really dumb as soon as I heard myself say it. Wait, are you serious? Chapter 3! Pathway home. Are you depressed? Probably. Hmm. I don't think you're depressed. Are you gay, Alex? Is that it? Yeah, I think so. That's okay. Mama! Do you love me? Oh, dip. We're getting into the heavies. Yeah. That's okay. Are you? The music is gone. Sorry. Er, sorry. No, nope. can't do that voice right there. Sorry. Oh. Battle music is back. Uh, Nora. That jerk. She sent me halfway to otherwhere. Just wait till I get back. You get back, Nora. You get him. I believe in you. Oh, it's Sienna. Nora, you're back. I'll go get my mom. Sienna's being helpful. Things must be worse than I thought. It's Peggy. Peggy, are you okay? Hello? Oh. Hello? Is she asleep? Oh, Marge, I thought you were getting better. Marge? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nora, you're back. What is wrong with them? She got to them. Uh-oh. I see. So, she has my book. She does. We are near the end again. 
You have to resist her. We will. We are. Oh boy. Whoa! That's a lot of them. Man rejected. <laughs> oh boy. They're not going to listen to her, are they? Oh, please. Oh, they did. Okay. M. Oh, I don't remember the voice I gave them. But welcome back, Nora. M. I see you have all three books. So I guess you've already lost. Oh, wait. Shit. I had that wrong. I see you have all three books. So I guess you've already lost. Where is it, Nora? Where is what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You both know I never... I'll never tell you. Why are you doing this? Let's just say... My soul has mixed reviews. Now... I hope you don't have any bad memories. Oh boy. Uh oh. Yo! Oh! Get out of my house! Huh. Take him. Oh man. The heck? Never thought souls had reviews, right? Damn it, I just fell asleep. Jake? Uh oh. Hey! You know. I've come here a few times since you got here. While I were sleeping, of course. <gasps> Excuse me. I remember thinking you looked so radiant. Whereas now, well. I suppose he's not like us, is he? Where's Jake? I took him away. His family was causing me trouble and well, they'd eventually find him here. In the meantime, I'm afraid I have to go. You've been very useful to me this past little while, but for now, I don't need you anymore. Don't worry, you'll be seeing each other again soon. No. Uh, can't believe it. Jake's gone. Uh oh, uh oh, Dude, I haven't moved in days. That's not good for your muscles. It's been at least two. Hey! Blank friend! I almost said it's you. It's you! What do you want? Oh. He booped me. What the heck is happening? Solve? Peggy? What's going on here? Save the town folk. I can do that. Hey, that this note looks significant. We've come to look for Jake. We'll be back soon. Be careful. I need to help everyone here first. Okay. Oh, Marge. Whoa, wait. Oh, I booped into memory. No, I don't want to live through this. I don't want to. Don't make me do it. Oh, this might make me cry. Oh, well, I 
Alexander, you're here. Can you help me? Every time I pick something up, I feel so drained. Maybe if all of Heather's stuff was gone, I'd feel better. It's taking all my energy just to stand up. Uh. No, oh, I gotta do the dance. Mm. Start the fire. You make the beats. Mm. Yeah, what's going on? Josh with the tier two sub. Hold up. We, we gotta get them. Gotta get them dogo beetles. Say thank you so much for the tier two sub. Um, thank you, thank you so much. All right, choose a color, my friend. Oh, my nose itches. Oh, I can officially say it's renewed a tier two. There you go. Hold on. He just came in at a freaking heart wrenching time, so I guess saved me. Yellow obs. Well, we have yellow green. That close enough? To match my hair in 12 hours. All right. You actually got your appointment done, huh? Joshua B. I just keep changing your name every time I... Oh, crap. That's the wrong one, by the way. You're a tier two sub. Hold up. We gotta get the slightly bigger ones. Uh, the slightly bigger ones, we have different colors. There we go. Well, we have a... We have... Yellow green. Then we have... Salmon. And then we have pink. And then we have blue. <laughs> let me... Let me... Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Also. For two months in a row, that means you get not that color. You get the silver. Where is it? I found it. I found it. I found the silver one. Also, you got a new. Wait a minute. Oh, you're the bronze. That's right. Sorry. You got a, a bronze buster sword going on there. Sweet. Joshua B. Boom. <gasps> we got you up, my dude. Thank you so much for the continued support of the channel. I appreciate you. I will also be adding those funds to the, uh, the Trevor Project. Ick. There we go. Blam. Been added. Let me add those funds. Thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate you. Bonk, 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 bonk. You guys ready to get, get into some feels trip here? Oh boy, here we go. It's all gone. Why do I still feel so tired? I know. It's these clothes. That's it. They're coming off. Oh goodness, please don't. Oh, is it safe to open my eyes again? Will it ever be safe to open my eyes again? Oh, please don't be such a prude. You can open your eyes now. I thought it was uh, her dead partner. That's why I was doing the sad voice. Phew. I feel a little better. I'd forgotten all about that room. Why in other where was it hidden? Eh, don't worry about it. Aren't you coming? Only if you promise to keep your clothes on. Hmm. No. I kind of love her. Damn it. It's all still here. Oh, she kept her copy. I always thought she'd thrown it away. An artist came through town and painted us together. That was before our last fight. 
You know what, Alexander? M's got me all wrong. Heather and I, we loved each other. She might be gone now, but we are at peace. I don't need to throw her away. I'm fine. Uh, why with the sad? All right, I'm I'm guessing Pe Peggy has a. Uh, what did I say? It's some sort of amnesia or Alzheimer's. Hello, Peggy. Hey, it's, it's Stanley. Alexander. Oh wait, wrong voice. Alexander. Did M trap you in here too? I don't know how I got here. No matter. Oh. No matter. I need your help. Not again. What is it? Everything is fading away. And Peggy. Peggy is fading with it. Please, Alexander, you have to help her. There are books hidden in this world. Collect them and put them in these shelves. It's her only hope. Trust me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or, what is it? Trust me or find me? That's a big old bed. No! Things are fading away. Oh, boy. Yeah, see, she's losing memory. This box is full of magazines. Why print a magazine when you could print a comic? Ha! I'm not going to talk about what's in this box. Hey, look, a switch. I wonder what that did. Oh. There's nothing in here. I flipped a switch. Nothing in here. Why would you need a whole stall just to sell eye patches? A cream colored stall that seems to sell cream. That smell is loud? Smell is loud. Is it possible for one to sm a smell to be loud? <laughs> there you go. Hey, there's a book here. Nice. Got one. There's nothing in here but cheese. Good cheese. I might take this box with me. <laughs> this stall is wet. No books, thankfully. Hey, look, a switch. I wonder what that did. Okay. So I flipped some sort of switch. Is this significant? The little... Hmm. Can I put a book here? There you go. There's a book. On Sundays, we'd start... Oh, hold on. On Sundays, we'd start the bit day drinking coffee in bed. That's the two of us. Perfection. Oh! Oh goodness, it's working! Oh, I clicked out of the game. Oh, look. Open this. I did a thing on accident. Hooray for me. Oh, there's a little thing down here. Lucky me! We'd make pancakes, pancakes for breakfast. My goodness, we'd make such a mess. Blueberry for me, banana for you. Oh! The feels. No, the books went away! Oh no, they're fading again. Please keep trying, Alexander. Okay. So... Aha! Give... There it goes. We'd walk through the market, taking our time to look at anything that took us. We never, we were never in a rush. In the afternoon, we'd go for a walk with the sunset. She's nearly back. I can feel it. Okay, I still am missing one book. Did you guys see it? Did someone say cheese? Oh, love me some cheese. Hey, there's a book in here. I just found it. Lucky me. 
That's happened like four times through this playthrough. Sundays were always my favorite days. I wish I'd spent every one with you. I'm sorry we spent so much time apart, but you know, I don't forget it. We let each other grow. It felt important at the time. Looking back, I'm so glad we did it. We're so lucky we'll have something to miss. Yes, we restored our memories. Oh, so they kept deleting. No! She's really gone this time. No! I hate this game. Hey, solve. Okay. Am I back in Dead World? No, it's different somehow. Okay, mom's here. Nora, are you okay? I'm so tired. She's been saying that for ages now. Solve, what's going on? Well, M sent us here somehow. Anyway, Mom started to build that bridge down there. But as soon as she started, she got really tired. Do you think she could try to finish it? Do my best. I'm on it. Don't worry. Click. Why can't I pick that up? Um. Okay, this one first, I guess. Oh, I have to match the the thingies. I say ones with two spots. This one. That's a clever puzzle. One with a long river thingy. Got it. And then this one. Did it. How you feeling, Mum? I'm still so tired. Is there... wine? Seriously? Right? She hasn't seen me for years and she wants wine? I'm so tired. Okay, fine. I'll look for wine. There was some over on my side of the rift. Is she an alcoholic? Oh my goodness. Alexander, you found wine. And my son. How could I ever thank you? What the? Where'd he go? Were you scared? Sometimes. I set a plate for you every time I ate. That seems... wasteful. Or oh. Wasteful, I know. I saw your lanterns. But I... I didn't know they were from you. I thought you'd given up on finding me. Never. Not for a second. I love you, Mum. I love you, too. I'm so happy we're together. Now let's get stuck into this wine. Get stuck into the wine. Mama! That's it. I've had enough. Where's M? Hey! There's ascending again. Abandoned house is not locked. There must be something up there. Or someone. You! Okay. Oh, hello, Alexander. You look a lot like M. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What are we looking at? It's easier if I just show you. Come here. Don't worry, I don't bite. Anymore. Bar. I forgot the voice. 
It gets so cold out here. It never snowed in the silver pine. I don't remember the voice I gave him. Gave him. My bad. Okay, that's him. Where is this? Should we go stop her? Keep watching. You need to see what happens next. It's going to make us feel bad for the villain. Or the antagonist, I guess. What a day. Yeah, here early. That looks like Kay. Nashi. You're here early, okay. That doesn't make sense. Okay. 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 What the fuck? What's wrong? Or what's wrong? Oh, was she hyping herself up to talk? I've made up my mind. Let's do it. If we have a boy, I want him to be called Jaro. If it's a girl, we should call her Kay. Shit. Or your sister. You're not saying anything. You haven't gotten cold feet on me, have you? No, not at all. I want to. I, I just... I just can't believe how much I love you. Oh, God. This is going to make me cry. I love you, too. She's so... So normal and so... So happy. I don't understand. Why does she want to hurt everyone? She's trying to reset stuff. She doesn't. She doesn't. It's her memory. A decade ago, my sister stole a book. She was going to use it to create a new vault. One that would help more people. Only it went wrong. Of course it went wrong. The book she took manipulated her. When we eventually stopped her, she left. She said she had to. And now for the first time, she's happy. I know I should be happy because she's happy. But I... I wish she could have been happy here. How was she able to move on without me in her life? I've never been able to forget about her. She's my sister. Do you have a sister? Yeah, I do. Would you just forget about her? Never. And you understand, why doesn't she? I missed her so much. And because I missed her, I made the same mistake. I stole a book from the vault. I thought I could contain its power and dream dead world. Then I have my sister back. I had it contained, I swear I did. But when you got here, it all went wrong. It keeps getting stronger. Your sister never forgot about you. Because her partner wants to name their child for me. Uh, I forgot. Your sister never forgot about you. There it goes. You mean she speaks about you? If she really cared, she wouldn't have left. She can keep her empty gestures. I just want my sister back. I need her help. You should go. I need time to think. The town needs your help, Kay. We're running out of time. I'll save the town myself. Who needs K? Raiko? So, she got to you, too. There's a fourth book. What? There's a fourth book. I mean, of course there is. There are four podiums. You know, now that you mention it. Anyway, that's great! Wait, what did you see? 
The booker. What? No. I saw the blank sending. If I'd seen the book, I wouldn't still be trapped. Obviously. When Solve and I left Dead World, it appeared. It saved us from some red sendings. I think it was trying to warn us or something. But then M showed up and, well, she somehow trapped us in our memories. Alex, you're the only one who isn't stuck. You have to go find the fourth book. It's how they stopped her last time. The books are right here. What do I need to do? So to find the fourth book, you have to go somewhere. Somewhere you felt safe. Where you felt you belonged. Where you learned something. Now go, before Amy gets back. Wait one second. Okay, now I'm ready. Oh, I had to write it down in my book. Honestly. Whoa, that was close. What are you doing here? These books. Just out of your grasp. This must feel like a nightmare to you. I have a question for you. Why are so... Why are good people always so gullible? You're not going to get away this with this. Damn it, that was so cliche. Alex will get the fourth book and stop you. Oh, I'm counting on it. Why are you doing this? Another cliche? Or uh, another cliche? You read too much. Do you know what's in the vault? The real vault, by the way. Not this entrance way you're all so fond of. Something dangerous? Of course you don't know. It's full of sendings. Not the tame ones that run this place. Wild sendings. I thought they were extinct. No, just contained. Sendings that will end hunger. Sendings that will end war. Sendings that will preserve the world. You're insane. Wild sendings won't stop. They can't stop until there's nothing. Sure, a wild sending of hunger would feed the world. Until it realizes hunger is only felt by living things. So it decides to kill everything to abolish hunger for good. Holy shit. That's like, um... AI stuff. Um, the worry of, like, uh, AI trying to solve problems. And that's, uh, one of the worries of AI is like, alright, well... If it was machine learning and it just kept learning and over and I was like, all right, we'll try to solve this problem by doing this kind of thing. And it would eventually learn to be like, well, humanity is the problem. So if I just wipe out humanity, the problem will go away. That's what uh, these things are, essentially. Once they find out, it's like, well, if we just get rid of everything alive, I accomplished my goal. There's no more hunger. Holy shit. You can't be hungry if you don't exist, right? That short-sighted attitude is what killed the world in the first place. Wild... Wild... Wild sendings killed the world in the first place. No. Silverfine killed the world by locking them away. Enjoy your nightmare. What have I done? Behold! Jake's here. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. Check it. The Vault of Silverpine. Jake? Oh, now I'm in my memory. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Come on, Alexander. I have one last thing to show you tonight. Oh, no. I'm in my memory. She got to me. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm home. You know why that is, right? Why? It's because you are. It's because you are. There it is. Shit. No. The book. I couldn't possibly take on this responsibility. It's too much. I can't. Just kidding. Of course I'll do it. Oh no. Ah, damn it. Why did I stall? Excuse me. What the heck? The last book of Silver Pine. I'm an idiot. How I've looked forward to this moment. Take it back to my vault. No! Shit! I thought Kay had me trapped forever. Every time I'd reappear, she'd banish me. 
sure. I'd create some bad memories. A feud here. A lost child there. Some stolen memories every so often. But she'd always get me in the end. She never quite had the heart to get rid of me completely, though. Then you showed up. You had more trauma than the rest of them combined. You fed me, Alexander. You made me strong. So anyway, thanks for the Empire. I couldn't have taken it without you. Now, off you go. Back to other one where. No! 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 Oh no. I'm home. No, this is the bad place. Get far away. Oh, I don't like it. Can I go see my scissor? No, there has to be another way. No! No, 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 no. Uh-oh. I got booped. I have to keep trying. Okay. My nose is itching like crazy. Fuck. What? Oh, is it the grass? No. What the fuck? I guess there's nothing else I can do. Can I get in here now? Okay, now it's taking control. Okay. Alex's mom. What happened, Alexander? Where's that little boy? Oh, wait. Dad. Where's that little boy? The one that used... The one that used to laugh too much. The one he used to sing by himself. Oh, that's right. He's gone. Oh, no! You're a burden on that town. You offer nothing. You are... Er, you are nothing. Everything that's gone is... Gone wrong is your fault. No! Yes! Save me, Raiko. Everything those two say is nonsense. You're the one fixing what's going wrong with Silverpine. Oh, and by the way, Alex, you're wonderful. Yes! Fight my demons! That town was better before you showed up. They were happy. Content. Now you're here, they're all miserable. Yes, Marge, save me! Oh, please. This kid ended like six feuds in his first week. Try something else, you creatures. Plus that woman, her son's back now. She doesn't need you anymore. She'll kick you out, just like we did. Who in other way would want you? What nonsense are these people spouting, Alexander? It's not Saul's room anymore. It's yours. I'll build him a new room myself if I have to. You're forever part of my family. Oh, Nora, I love you. Nothing you could ever do would change that. Oh, but for all your abnormalities. The way your ears poke out. The way you used to smile too much. The way you laugh. There's no... There is one defect that is particularly wrong. You're gay. Man, this fucking game. You're gay. You know what? You have a better family in that new world. Yes. Save me, Kate. How dare these creatures... But they're right. I'm gay. I'm wrong. I'm not normal. Don't you ever say that. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Hey, Hostel Buffalo. What's going on? Have a good night, my friend. I don't know if I caught you in time, but sleep well. I appreciate the lurk. You're both entirely normal and entirely unique. There's nothing about you that is wrong. It's these creatures with the problem. One day, Alexander, you'll move past this. It won't be easy, but you will. But unless those two change, they'll be the same. They will never experience love. Not like you will. You should only pity these creatures. You are loved. Yes! I have to go back to Silver Pine.
We got a thing. We are building an uh, army. Dragon Master! Uh oh. Something's happened. There's a worm on the ground. Or a butterfly. Or something. Okay. We'll pause right there. But the gift sub! The hustle buffalo, thank you so much! Let's add that to the total here. Boom. And then get them doggy some treaties. If you are still here, hostile buffalo. New sub. Boom. Cool. There's that. If you are still here, feel free to choose a color, but I think you probably skipped out already. Because you were going to sleep. But thank you so much for the sub. Um. Oh, Dragon Master. You are officially the sub boss again. <laughs> Hold on. Dragon Master, 640. Boom. All hail the new stream boss, Dragon Master. That was the wrong sound effect. There we go, all hail. New sub boss. Thank you so much for the, the gift sub to Hostel Buffalo. I appreciate you, my friend. Hi, doggies. You already got your treaties. You already got them. You got them, those treaties. You did. You did. Also... There it goes. The game just took forever to unblur. Um, I will keep one of these out. So I will remember. Hustle Buffalo needs a thing on the power wall if they show up again. Uh, I can get through now. Follow the lights. Okay. Boop. Oh, making little flowers. Oh, man, do I have to follow it? Like, exactly? That's hard. Because it moves diagonal, and I can't move diagonal. <laughs> you are wonderful. I appreciate you, my friend. <laughs> no! Fuck! Don't make me start over. Okay. Did it. This is clever. Oops. Dude, you can't move diagonal. It's kind of unfair. Damn it. Damn it. Make it. Yes. Oh. No! Ugh, this is such a pain in the butt. And I think it's immediately left right here. Close enough. Yes! Please be done. I know what happens in there. I don't need to see it again. No! They kicked me out, huh? <gasps> Doggo! Well, let me pet! I want pet doggo. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, hello. You seem familiar. Oh, his name is Honey. Morph. All right, dogs can't talk. It's funny. I feel like I've done with this sh with you before. The last time it was sunset. I was really sad. There was this person. We had this connection. Whenever we were apart, I felt sick. When we were together, I was my happiest. Then there was this endless night in that house just over there. I just thought it was how friendship felt. And we were best friends. I was wrong. I... I loved him. I thought, on some level, that I could only ever love him. And then I met Jake. Jake was the perfect impossibility. He seemed to really like me. So I liked him back. I guess that means I've loved two men. And I'm okay with that. I'm gay. Fucking bug. Yeah, it feels right to say that. Pet the doggo! 
You're her, aren't you? Oh, is it my sister? Oh! You're my sister. I wish I could have said this to you. When we were here the first time. You would have understood. You were always on my side. You were my mother. Thank you. Thank you. Now I have a world to save. No! Pet the doggo! <laughs> You're fine, Hostile Buffalo. Hey, we'll, we'll do your wall of power thing later. Go to sleep. Sleep well, my friend. Appreciate you popping in. I was never really gone. Oh, go to the vault. Hi, Dougie. Bonk the news. Hey. No! Oh, they boot me if I run into them. Oh, God. No. Ooh. I think this is the same game where if they look at you, I get teleported. Screw you guys. This guy's freaking out. That's not fair. And these guys don't ever move. What the? Okay. Just book it. Yes! Nope. 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 Fuck this. God damn it. This is a pain in the ass. What? Oh, I hate it. Oops. No, I ran into this stupid head. No, who hit me? This stupid guy. Nope. Ah ha ha! Figured it out. Journal updated. Boop. I think it's broken. Or maybe it doesn't have any power. You gonna make me go back out there? Well, I booped a thing. Okay, I guess that works. Now what? Make a bridge? Ah. No. It's gonna send me to the other side if I click this. See? Oh, okay. Different area. That didn't work. Okay. Uh. What am I missing here? Three, four, two, one. Three, four. Two, one. Okay, so if it's one, two, three, four, three, four, two, one. Aha! One, four, three, two. One, four, three. Got it. That looks promising. Didn't really do anything for me, though. Aha! Got us a bridge. Oh, yeah. Take some for your headache. Hopefully you feel better soon.
Whoa. I wonder what that did. Probably just turned on. A thing. There we go. Okay. It didn't do anything, it's just a ladder. Oh, I can power that on. Oh, hey. That was nice. Jake, in a book. Hey, buddy. Living Memories, the paperback edition. Got a book. Hey, Lumpy. Oh, you again. What? ICM's been hard at work. How do I help them, Glumpy? Are you asking because you think I'm smart? Or because you think I look old and wise? I don't know. Hmm. You have to put the book you just found back. Back where? The vault. The true vault. Not this dead imitation. Return the memories to the vault. Uh, the memories that you two share are strange. And, and private. Of course, you know the way you feel about him. But did you know you're the first person he's ever really connected with? Something to think about anyway. Go oh, save the town. You're lucky I'm nice. Okay. Okay. I was wondering when you'd show up. You have to stop. Whoa, wrong voice. You have to stop this. Why would you want that? I'm your memory. This is what you want. You made me so I'd go through your sister's vision. This isn't what she wanted. Ah, well, I guess my opinion of your sister was too high. Wait, I... You what? I forgive you. You... You forgive me? Even after everything I've done? I... Yeah, I do. You're a terrible liar. Damn, I thought that'd work. It's too late anyway. You are past forgiveness. Or we are past forgiveness. The vault is open. In a few moments, the wild sing, sing, sendings will be set free. Silver pine is finished. Not if I can handle it. Alexander, you're here. Did you get the book? I got a book. Get in the vault. You have to return it. She can't touch you in there. What? Now. Whee! Let's go. How would otherwise did he come back? I just assumed he'd be stuck in his memories. They were bad enough. Don't worry, Kay. I'll stop him. Good luck, Alexander. We're all counting on you. What are you doing, Shana, you goofball? Don't do this, Alex. Think of all the good we could do. We could change otherwhere. We could build them their own vault. Like the one you've built in Silver Pine? Zing! Return living memories to the vault. What is this shiny thing? I got a shiny thing. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. I want to go see uh, what the door is about. Welcome back, dragon. 
hopefully uh your meds kick in soon can i carry these across the doors that'd be kind of cool oh i get it They sit down. Thank you. Stinking fly. So there whoa I can make Jake think he loves you back. Oh, that's fucked. I can do it in an instant. That's so wrong. Yeah, that's super wrong. I was gonna do that before I streamed and I forgot. Take something from Peens. Just totally spaced it. Actually, I didn't space it. I was going to. I was like, all right, as soon as I get my alarm goes off to go for a stream, I'll take it then. But I forgot it's Friday and I don't have an alarm for stream on Friday because I don't generally stream on Fridays. So that was fun. Wait a minute. Oh, they need to come down to this one. I got it. Got it. Now where? I can take away the memories that hurt you. No more remembering those tricky parents of yours. How about a day, Alex? Leave me alone. Go away. controlling that doggo if you do this i will take the best part of you and you will never get it back oh nightmare you really thought that would oh we need to get a crazy voice for this hold on we're gonna do something like Holy fuck, that peaked something. I've been planning this for a century. Wait a minute. My disguise is gone. Aren't you lucky, Alex? You're the first person to see me as I am in over 100 years. A wild sending. Speaking of sendings, release the others. No, oh, I failed. What? No, you can't be in here. These are your own rules. I have your book. If you break them, you can't. Oh, flip. <laughs> oh, flip. Yay! A little plane sending sa saved us. It's about time you were sent here. Hold on, sorry. Don't want to miss chat. Oh, I saw that. I tried to drop, watch a uh, CC stream today, but it's, it was funny because it was in VR chat and you saw them, him like reaching over to try to fix his net and his avatar was all like weird looking. That's unfortunate. His net kind of freaked out. 
Oh, I appreciate that compliment. That's actually a huge compliment considering uh, you're a full-time watcher. Well, full-time's wrong. A regular of CC because uh, he's got great content. I really like watching him. I'm glad uh, he sent over a raid but a month or so ago because I checked out his channel and I actually really like his content and his community. So that was high praise. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That meant a lot. You go get that sky raisin. Mama's is hunting that fly. It's about time you were sent here. First of all, why? Memories of what I do. They're all I do. Bad memories are the strongest. With a fault of my own, I could have made so many bad memories. So what memory did you take from Alex? The only consistently good one in his life. I was gonna say his sister. Fuck you, Memo. His sister. What the flip is wrong with you? You jerk. In that case, I have a message for you. Pretty typical of an old model to be following orders. At least I'm not imprisoned. Here's the deal. Give Alex back his memory. Then I will let you back in the vault. He's got a freaking plague doctor mask. And trade one prison for another? Forget it. Was that seriously a memory pun? Now? Whatever. Then stay here without your powers. In the worst memory you've ever captured. Forever. Boop. Forever is no time at all when all things fall. Oof, that person is dark. Ugh. Oh, different voice. Back to normal. Alexander, you're back. And he got a book. Hey, thanks, Dragon. I appreciate you. Yeah, we, we've uh, got a nice little community here. Very blessed. Very blessed that, with the community we have. You did it! We got our books back. Everyone in town is waking up. Wait, what's wrong? She took something from me. Memory. I, I don't know what it was. Oh, that's sad. But I think it was important. Yeah, because why wouldn't she take something? Or why would she take something that wasn't important? Oh, Alexander. Three months later. I just thought of something. Jake told me to tell you he'd wait for you at the summit at sunset. Again. He's persistent. You have to give him that. I suppose so. Alex, I've been wondering. You say you found the fourth book outside Nora's cottage. I can see why you'd feel safe there. It's your home. Plus, you said that was the first place you felt you truly belonged. Thanks to Jake. But, well, what did you learn? I... I learned... Courage. You, you know, Alex, I'm here. If you ever want to talk. I'm glad she didn't betray us. I really think you should see Jake today. You brought everyone else closure. Now it's time for yours. Meet Jake at Summit. Uh... This way? I don't remember where the summit is. Nice, Josh. Glad you enjoyed your bath. Uh, I'm gonna click on this. Collected returns. I'm gonna fill. I'm gonna do my little job. A new name by Lincoln Parkway. A detailed list of my favorite fictional princesses. <laughs> oh, I can talk to you. If you get a chance, could you empty the returns, Bard? 
I'm already on it. Sure thing. You're the best. That goes to the... The door room, so let's go over here first. Ah, there's one. Finding the end by Sebastian Scott. I have a bunch of... Oh. Oh, I can't click those anymore. I thought I'd be able to open that door. There we go. Brown cow stunning. My money cart. What is this? Is this a reference to like one of their other games? Oh. I touched a thing. Huh. Wait, am I powering up the... I did a thing. Hold on, we'll come back to that. I gotta finish the returns. Come I because I am a responsible Alex. Or maybe that's how I get to the summit. Wonderful life. Go away, freaking fly. Driving me nuts. Oh, here's one. The pathway home. <sighs> Still kills me. Nothing in here. Oh, there's one. Oh, two. Saving Silver Pine by Kay and Alex. Whoa. Lore book chapter discovered, 3 of 10. Of course, what the founders locked away was arguably causing havoc. You see, dear reader, the world used to be a very developed and relatively harmonious place until, of course, it ended. We stand but on the bones of a once glorious civilization. Was it those wild sendings that were killing the world or was it something else? Did the three people in the sending save the world when they locked all the wild sendings away or did they set the pattern for the impending doom? Okay. Three of ten chapters, and I'm pretty sure I'm close to the end. Pretty sure I did not find all the secrets. Decided I'm leaving. I'm going to visit M. Are you reading my notes? Oh. Are you reading my notes? Sorry. Very weird, Alex. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Do you think Raiko is ready to be the Vault Keeper? Absolutely. Thanks, Alex. I think I agree. locked okay there's our notes on these guys there's one these notes are covered in dust the owner's names are scratched out looks like these were people were passing notes they were friends wow Raiko that's a lot of notes Jake's notes are so neat huh it's Sienna's notebook those drawings are um graphic Was okay. Never mind. I'm guessing the plane is how I get to the summit. Oh wait, I finished my chores. We should go to the pub tonight. Sure. I'm gonna go fly a freaking plane. Bop. I have to activate this. Nope. Well, this is neat. Wait a minute. Is that a propeller going faster all of a sudden? Yo, there we go. He's flying with no hands. No, 
No one else seems to care. Wait a minute. Oh, I got a ch lore book chapter for doing that. Okay. I just went in a circle. I went all the way around the world. Now, of course, dear reader, if you have found any of these chapters you must be familiar with, the wonderful oasis of safety, community, and knowledge that is Silver Pine. Have you been to the rest of the world? Maybe you have, but you probably haven't. There are no guiding values in otherware. It's near anarchy. No one who has ventured to after when has ever returned. Is it because they have been better cheeseburgers? Or is it something more sinister like poison cheeseburgers? Should those of us in Silver Pine be helping them? I'm very confused. Okay. Well, that's not the summit. Um... Where is the summit? Hey, you got a joke for me? Say, hey, yeah. Can you deliver a letter to Scott for me? Sure. Who's Scott? Thanks, pal. Who's Scott? I owe you one. Are you Scott? You're Scott! Is that... Is that a letter from Julian? Neat. Would you mind sending him a reply? Sure. Thanks, mate. The fuck? You guys are right here. A letter from Scott held very quaint. Thank you, Alex. Hey, would you mind delivering this one back to him? Sure, God. Fucking delivery boy here. It's gonna give me another book of lore, isn't it? Is that another letter from Julian? Neat. Would you mind sending him an- Oh my God! What? This can't go on forever. A letter from How very quaint. Thank you, Alex. Oh, this one is particularly good. Can I read it? Or can I read it? Don't be silly. You can't read someone else's mail. Say, would you mind delivering this back to him? Sure. Oh! Fucking mail boy now. Is that another letter from Julia? Neat. Would you mind sending me a... Oh. My. God. How long is it going to make me do this? Is this game just trolling me? No. I mean, he's right there. Just go talk to him. Oh, you have a point. Ah, you passed the test. That ladder was blank. Here's a reward for working it out. It was a lore book. Dear reader, I decided to plead my case to the Keeper's Committee. We should be helping the people of Otherware and Afterwin. Their affairs are our affairs. As my sister has always said, we are all humans. These places need their own vaults and their own guiding principles in order to thrive. Things in other way are particularly bleak. We need hope. They need values. They need something. We could literally give them the book on hope. It's in the vault. I want to take it out. But well, they didn't let me. Hopeless. Complete your lore book. Yeah, that's... Probably not going to happen. Hello. You got your reward. Leave me alone. I might, might look like I'm just standing here, but I'm busy. Okay. Ooh. Bunch of sendings around here. Hey, friends. I'm telling you, Bria is the best part of soft cheese. I'm sorry. But does Camerbird not exist in your world? I bet. I've got two worlds for you, Nora. Triple cream. Shh. Camerbird does more with a single cream than Bree could do with ten. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get a word in. Free! Camera bird! I don't fucking know. <laughs> Red wine! White wine. I like sarsaparilla. I think we can agree. That sarsaparilla is nonsense. Absolutely. Okay, that was weird. Solve, are you in here? Shit. I thought science fiction was banned during the time that was not counted. Okay. Um. I don't know where the summit is. Huh. 
Hi. Hello there, Alex. I'm afraid Peggy isn't talking much today. It's not always easy, but I'm so lucky to spend every day with Peggy. What a lovely day it is today. There's a note over there. What is? I must discover. Plumpy's garden. Yes! All welcome. Except Solve and Alex. That's funny. Plumpy is here now. Okay. Does this goes? Does that go to the summit? Shit. No. Okay. I found where the summit is. I'm gonna go talk to all my friends first. Hey, Solve. How you doing? Mama's making me sell her flippin' jam again. Okay. Hey! Did you see my garden out there? Sure did. Beautiful, isn't it? We've got so much work to do. Hooray! We got all our new friends here. Um... Where's Marge? Hmm. Oh, hi. Ooh. Where's Marge? Marge! There we go. I swear Marge is cheating. Hey, Alexander, I've got a proposition for you. Is this proposition in this proposition are you gonna be clothed? If you're good. Seriously though, the proposition. If you beat me at two or three times in a row, I'll give you a prize. What kind of prize? The best kind. A book. A lower book? Sure, let's play. How fun. Heads or tails? Tails! Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yes, one. All right, that's your first win. Remember, you need three wins in a row. Here's your tails. Tails it is. No. 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 Yes! One more to go and the prize is yours. Let's go heads this time. Heads it is. Don't. No! God damn it. I should have stuck with tails. Don't birds also lay their eggs from the clay field like a snake? Yes. Yes, they do. You always looks like you need to try again. God damn it. All right. Tails. Can I just skip? that quickly i literally have to watch this are you kidding me is there a trick to this all right one Yes! Oh, got it. All right, well done, Alex. You win. Here's your prize. I got a lore book. Note on sendings. They're primarily obey the person who holds their book, but would also help other residents of Silver Pine from time to time. They exhibit some level of control over matter, typically through teleporting. While colored, they also they can also go transparent and press through walls. Sendings seem to retire and be replaced every hundred years or so. It is my current hypothesis that the sendings of Silver Pine are able to control matter, move through walls, and go transparent due to powers given to them by the vault. Thanks, Marge. There's a message written here on the whiskey bottle. Happy 18th birthday, Jake. You can drink legally now. Oh, Jake likes crickets too. 
That's why I'm addicted to these things. And Terra will destroy you. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get that last book, friends. I have no idea where it would be. Or last few books. Because uh, I think I have six of ten. Actually, I'm going to go talk to this guy real quick. And be like, I'm on to your... Your joke. Pepper is the goodest boy. Ruff. Okay. Let's go to the summit. Yes, I'm ready. Pack is killing me. Epilogue. As long as you came. Phrasing? Wait a minute. Didn't Jake say he wasn't gay, but he gave me a kiss anyway. He came. I'm surprised you didn't. Oh, music. I'm surprised too. Don't worry. Turning up the music. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. That's okay. Why now? After all this time. I just wanted you to know that I'm fine. All that happened between us. It was a long time ago. It was? It's still happening for me. I'm feeling everything. Fuck! So it still bothers you? Yeah, it hurts. Listen to this music! But it's real. You know, Alex. Cause even the sun rising Listen to this music. You know, Alex, you're not the only one affected by this. You're the best friend I've ever had. We understand each other. I'm so sorry. I don't want your apologies. I want your friendship. I want to give you what you want, but right now I want to give you everything. I need a little more time. Thank you, Jake, for it all. Don't say that. It sounds so final. It's not, I promise. I'll see you soon. You'll come around. I'll be here tomorrow. And then the next day. Draco, I've decided to go away for a little while. This time I went to see my sister Em. We have some issues to sort out. On my way, I need you to take over as vault keeper. Okay, I'm not ready. It's such a giant responsibility. I can't... You'll be fine. You helped us steer us through the biggest threat we've faced in decades. You know Between you and I Alex, this place stay. is in good hands. Sorry, I'm just feeling a bit emotional. Thank you for believing in me. I'd be insane not to. Hamburger. Mama looks incredible. Oh, thanks, dear. I thought you might like them. No one was keeping Alex. I don't want his food to get cold. I don't need to forget about you to be happy. 
That's adorable. I will remember you. I will always remember you. All right, I better go home for the night. That sending over there will keep an eye on you. It'll come get me if you have any problems. I made this map. Didn't I? You did. You're an excellent explorer. The best of our age, if you ask me. Did we go exploring together? Sometimes. More when we were young. It's how we fell in love. We did fall in love, didn't we? I don't know your face. I don't know your name. But I remember that I fell, we fell in love. I don't remember falling out of love. That means I still love you. Oh my god, this one's rough. Yes, that's true. I love you. Will you stay with me tonight? I feel sad when you're not with me. Oh, <laughs> my heart. Of course. In the morning, we'll make pancakes. Fuck. A uh, lump in my throat. I understand why you left now, Em. I'll see you soon. I just can't face. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Why do you look so confused? If you listen to me, be sad for a bit. I'll give you food. Orf! It's a deal. Ever since that night, this thought has been going through my head. This single thought, if the world stopped spinning, and everyone got thrown off into space, I wouldn't be sad because our universe was over. I'd be sad because there would be no more of him. If he died, what would be the point? Why would anyone bother going on? Why doesn't he love me back? I'm going to doggo. Ah, oh, that's right. Dogs can't talk. Give doggo a hug! I feel like we've done this before. Maybe we met in another life. Come on. Let's go get something to eat. This place. It's not perfect. But it's home. As long as he came. You said it's okay. We're gonna turn up the music. What if it were? <laughs> you know I can't stay. Fuck, dude. That was heavy. God, does it hurt? Knowing you and facing forever. I just Oh, God, that scared me. That was so loud. Why would you do that? Oh. Heck, guys. That was a good game. It's the only game to make me cry. Life, dude, Life is Strange will mess. Will mess you up. If you've never played Life is Strange, that'll definitely mess you up. It's rough. Oof. Just thinking about those games just, like, spikes my anxiety. Like... Life is Strange 1, absolutely loved it. Before the Storm was alright. Uh, it's pretty good. Actually, was that the one with, um... With, uh, Chloe and, uh, Rachel Amber? That one was good, because I got the... Yeah, save Chloe. Oh, I didn't. I didn't save Chloe. I, uh, I saved, uh... Arcadia Bay. Wow, I can't believe I remember all those names. I saved Arcadia Bay because it had Kate... And I had a ridiculous, crazy, absolute 
obsession of needing to protect her. Kate was the most precious in that game. And uh, if uh, she would have, if I wouldn't have been able to save her, spoilers, by the way. So mute, if anyone doesn't know and you haven't played Life is Strange or have seen it. If I wouldn't have saved Kate from the building, I would alt F4 and stop playing. Victoria, oh, I, I couldn't stand her still. Like, I gave her a little bit, a couple of respect points at the end, but I was still, I still was like, I don't like manipulative people. Oh, those games are rough. I actually met, um, a cop, well, she wasn't really, she stopped doing cosplay at this point, but she dressed up as Chloe, uh, at TwitchCon a couple of years ago, and she, she nailed it. She looked exactly like Chloe. It was crazy. But I, a lot of people were like, well, she's not a hard cosplay dude. I was like, no, no, she looked like her. It was nuts. Um, anyways, okay, so, my friends, I do have a couple donations to fulfill. Um, and uh, I'll post, like, an Instagram or something up on Twitter on uh, the final total, which is about 600 and, oh, about 620 bucks. Heck yeah, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys, anyone that's contributed to uh, the charity. We do have our giveaways to do. Let's go do that. Get these up and ready to go. Chloe and Max forever. I got her ultra good ending for Victoria. I don't know what that one was. I, didn't, I don't remember much of that game. I remember some parts. Just because my brain was like, no, you're going to have to forget this stuff. It's going to ruin your brain. All right, we're going to spin our wheel. Hopefully this will work. All right, so here's our spinner of all of our friends that have donated $5 or more to the charity via bits, cheers, subs, whatever, whatever, whatever. And so let's see. Let's do the... What was that, Jada? Grunties. Well, we're going to do the the merch giveaway first. But let me get uh, something out here. So just in case a winner is offline. And uh, let's spin the wheel. Winner of the merch of their choice is Crimson. Crimson Rose. Winning some merch. I will message. I don't think she's here right now. So I will message her that she won. And she will choose what merch she want. And now we're going to spin again. And this is for uh, the game. A game key. Yeti! Yeti wins game key. Game. Game key. Awesome! Cool. So I will be messaging them on their winning statuses. Statuses? Statuses. Anyways, um, my back is killing me. Like, hold on. I need to, I need to try to pop it or something because I've been in pain for a couple hours. And, oh, hi, Jada. Excuse me. It didn't pop. It didn't pop. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Um, but let's see. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide this because I will forget that after the fact. Um, but thank you guys so much for continued, or contributing to uh, the charity and the Trevor Project. Pretty much a whole stinking month of charity. Uh, I do that every year for uh, Pride Month. We just do a charity month for uh, Trevor Project and stuff. Um, this month, although we did uh, one week of uh, Minnesota Freedom Fund to help our friends uh, that were being incarcerated and stuff for uh, protesting and stuff for uh, Black Lives Matter, because that is also very important. Um, anyways, my friends, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun. Um, I am probably going to go down some ibuprofen, eat some food, and pass out. But I hope you guys had fun. If you guys liked it, Remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to a rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasif. This itchy one is Jadis. This round potato is Mama's. Thank you guys so much for tuning with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Come on, let's go party. Let's go get some food. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on.